Alright, we are back to our sterilization stream. Uh, and it has been a couple weeks uh, since uh, the last one. I ended up taking last week off from streaming entirely so that I could get some work done. And of course I took the week off and uh, I did get a lot of work done, but it was not the work I intended to do. So <laughs> that was rather unexpected, but well, I mean, it does happen all the time. Um, but yeah, I was gonna get ahead and uh, try to plow through the remaining parts of the next pre-release uh, so we can get that out there. You know, a lot of cool stuff coming, a lot of cool stuff, but uh, ended up spending the entire week on uh, stuff that was not planned to be a part of that release. Just kind of went on one tangent after another and uh, created some fun new content, but it, um, yeah, it took the entire week. <laughs> and I added a few new pieces of architecture to the game though, which will allow more features in the future, so that was good. It was a very productive week. Uh, last week and then uh, this week already too yesterday was really productive um, and all day working on new features and trying to actually getting back on track uh, to finish up uh, what I'm working on here and uh, hey Luigi welcome thank you for the subscription um, <laughs> 11 months yeah a lot of work done yeah exactly work is work progress um, not exactly what I was intending but it doesn't matter because in the end it's it's the same because players get to enjoy it right um, it's it's work on the game, so whatever. Um, but uh, there is a slight difference now in that there is actually a beta 11 deadline, so I gotta be careful of that now. I gotta try and... This is gonna be the point where I'll stop doing that kind of thing uh, when I can and uh, make sure that I finish the things that absolutely have to be in beta 11. Because there's still a list of things uh, left for that. And I don't mean the item updates. Those are all pretty much... They're designed, they're gonna be in the game pretty soon. Um, uh, that's what I was starting working on uh, yesterday, so I, I would like to finish that up this week. Uh, it's likely I'll be able to do that, I think, um, today being only Tuesday. So, um, yeah, I should be able to finish that up, but then there's a lot of other things that Beta 11 needs uh, before it goes out. Like I've been talking about the special commands menu for a while, uh, and that really needs to be in Beta 11. Uh, and I don't, there's really a lot of other things that have to happen. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go down the list now. I haven't even actually put together the final list because basically I've, for the past year, as I've been working all through it, I just have a ton of things marked beta 11 now. And uh, there's still a lot left on that list, enough that I don't think I'll be able to finish them all in time. So I'll have to prioritize and maybe drop some and push some back, which would be fine because beta 12 and 13, their main stuff is planned. And I can easily attach a few other extra things to those. So... Um, Anyway, yeah, uh, things are going pretty well though. Progress has been has been good on the development front. Uh, it's been it felt good, really good doing a lot of the item progress too. Uh, not just last week's, but especially getting uh, yesterday, uh, spending all day and actually chipping away at a bunch of little things on my list, and uh, then working on trap extractors to rebuild those into something cool. It's gonna be fun stuff. So, uh, hey, Danny Expert, welcome. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get back to our sterilization stream now. I really. It, this stream is it's a relatively slow run because we're trying to be careful uh, this is to pull this kind of thing off I don't know I mean <clears throat> uh, I don't play as frequently so I would have a little less confidence in being able to do it quickly so slower and steady is uh, more guaranteed to actually succeed at it we've already been pulled off a, a couple now and so I think it's a uh, it's achieved the goal of the stream in terms of being able to do some sterilization to see what that d does in sort of terms of strategy. So we'll see if maybe we'll end up speeding up a bit, but it is going to start getting a little harder to do as well because it's uh, going to run into, you know, tougher enemies as well. It's not as hard to sterilize the earlier floors. In general, it's easier to do that. It gets harder and harder as you go, naturally. Um, so here's where we are now. We're headed back. We finished the proxy caves coming back from data miner here. Oh, we haven't actually finished, have we? We did not exit proxy caves yet. We are just entering the proxy caves, getting back. Okay, so we have, let's check out what we've got here. Tread-wise, yeah, we're gonna have to redo our treads. Um, we've got, you know, heavy treads in siege mode were kind of the stars of the show. Uh, we've got only 200 left on these. We've got um, almost destroyed heavy missile launcher. We have a rocket array. Those came in handy a little bit, but I was mainly using ro regular rocket launchers instead. Uh, so far. Um, okay, what else do we have? And regular guns. Let's see, we've got... We do have one set of extra medium treads here. Gotta watch our mass, which has been easy to go over. Um, we do not need three power sources, we only need two, so we have an extra slot if we need it in inventory. 
um, sink. Uh, oh, we're using our backup cooling system already. I remember we had two of those. So now, oh no, we aren't. We aren't even using that. So we can get rid of this heat sink as well, probably. And we have a lot of extra matter matter solutions down here, which were mainly for the launchers, uh, which we also have a launcher loader. I have heavy insulated plating. So we have three pieces of armor attached now. Targeting computer. Optical array for the extra vision. I, I, this was a good uh, choice coming into caves because we have Farcom, so we probably don't need the optical array in uh, the regular complex so much. It's helpful. I mean, I love optical arrays, but we don't need it uh, quite as much uh, in the complex compared to the caves. I threw this on before we jumped into the caves specifically because we don't have Farcom data, so it gives us uh, some kind of useful intel, you know, alternative intel. Uh, we have our tractor beam to throw on. Our matter is currently good. Plenty of matter. Back to full on that. All right, and the rest of the stuff we have, we have extra coil gun, a couple plasma cannons, phase cannon. All right. We do have a lobotomy kit <clears throat> and a plating saber and a data jack. The data jack was, we are rift technically, but we're not really doing rift stuff. We just did it for the alert info. And also we can use the data jack to find shoots. All right, so, um, <laughs> hey, Chris, oh, <laughs> you're getting soup. Good, I hope your ulcer gets better. I hope that soup's good for it. Again, unintended work did get done. Very cool stuff. It's actually uh, very late game stuff that I worked on last week, That new, the new stuff I was adding. Um, so it won't be something that everybody's going to interact with soon, but it's it's a neat thing. I don't really want to spoil it. Oh, okay. All right, we have swarmers to the southeast and there's a squad to our northwest. An open air. Oh, that's right, we already knew that. I had it commented. <laughs> I wasn't watching the blinking on the screen and notice there's a little blinking square here because it's telling us there's a sentry there. Uh, but yeah, if there's maybe time at the end of the stream, I'll, I'll pull up some dev stuff too. We'll see. Um, uh, but we'll see. I don't know how long. It's going to depend on how the stream goes, obviously. Uh, so maybe now everyone's hoping I die. <laughs> Death's not super likely, but failing our goal of sterilization is a lot more likely as we get higher. Okay, so enemies to the southeast, I would say we could try to go through the northeast here. Uh, let's see, what do we got on the walls here? 28. Gonna need a different weapon to get through the walls. I'd like to see if we could cut through the northeast here. Just a quick check. Um, get familiar with our weapons again here. Uh, that's right. We're using the we were using the uh, cooled plasma cannon a lot earlier. Yeah, heavy plasma cannon. There's a weapon that's been uh, changed a bit, not entirely nerfed, but changed for uh, the next release. Noticing all these things as I see them, and I've been working with them over the past uh, couple weeks. Um, all right, let's use phase cannon for the different. <laughs> Thank you, Danny. Danny with 100 bits to help speed up beta 11 development. It's, it, that's what I'm powered by, yes. <laughs> uh, okay, we can get through that wall. We're probably going to get spotted if we head straight east by whatever's over there. Try to head northeast. Yep. You can hear auto gun firing. All right, there we go. We can make it through here. Doesn't mean we won't get spotted, but oh, oh, look at that. We won't. Wow, check it out. Caves. Oh, gosh. Well, <laughs> so we can actually see uh, down here to the south, we can see the swarmers that are messing up uh, the stuff down there. Is that it's possible that our hand scrunt friend is going to bring them uh, in here? Hey, hey, MTF, always miss the opening of kids' streams. Hey, yeah, I was talking about development stuff. I, and uh, Chris Allen was just talking about MTF. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get away from those swarmers with our grunt friend here without attacking them. Okay, he didn't bring them up here. Good, that was nice of him. <laughs> this is true. That's right. Uh, all right, we now know where a factory is. That's That's a good thing to know. I'm glad I know where the factory is. Uh, wait, wasn't there a piece of scrap over here? Are you standing on the scrap? <laughs> no, wait, what? 
Good job. Uh, there it is. Yep. <laughs> I was showing kids your brand of ARC. Yes. The salt ARC. We were thinking of ARCs filled with different things as this, the stream was getting started there. Oh, that guy's got a tractor beam. I never really, I, I never really noticed that Decomposes has tractor beams. <laughs> Not in real play. He was just sucking up all that matter uh, as we watched. <laughs> MTF says it's pink salt from the Himalayas, okay? Rare and valuable. <laughs> oh, gosh. Caves. So great for tunneling. Anyway, I don't want to fool around in proxy caves and get messed up too much, so I'm trying to skip through here. Rather than fight stuff. Uh, we don't have far com, so... Uh, shoot. No, we have to go north. Actually, we're halfway through the map already. Derelict log. It summons me! It summons me to give me armory entrances. I mean, okay, I'll take it. Oh, there's an enemy to the west. Well, okay, he destroyed whatever that was. He didn't get the second one yet. Big Oh, no. I'm going to step away from this guy. Hmm. I don't know if I want to shoot him. I think I want to shoot his friend. Because if I shoot the... Yeah, see, he's going to go for our friend. And if I shot him, he'd come for us. So I'm going to let our friend deal with him. I'm going to deal with this guy. Welcome. Hey, wait a minute. Oh no, no, I want that. They just disappeared. Oh, improved treads are gone now. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I didn't see them there. He was standing on them. <laughs> um, uh, MTF says he's excited to finally catch the sterilization stream. How many have we sterilized so far? And have we done any shoot? We've sterilized both of the uh, factory floors we've been to. Right there, and you can see in the middle there, and we sterilized uh, both of those. Uh, and uh, we shoot it, as you can see, and both. Uh, one intentionally, one unintentionally. So, yeah, we're doing standard sterilization approaches. Yeah, it worked out pretty well. Ah, proud of me. Thank you. Uh, one, of, uh, uh, this, one of the shootings was not intentional, but it's okay. It still worked out. <laughs> okay, let's not get near this thing. It's close to the exit, though. We're going to try and go far away from that. Do not want to walk in there. Yes, thank you. All right, don't want to mess around with proxy caves, really. We're more at home in the complex with our Riff and uh, Farcom. But a little extra time. All right, yeah, that's enough here. There's, we're not going to probably get a whole lot of benefits here. It's possible we would, but eh, we're getting low on treads. Or second to last medium treads there. About to go. Um, you know, I'm thinking we might not want this friend with us here. He's just going to raise our alert, and we don't actually need him. Need to get some launcher utils? Oh, we have the launcher loader, actually. We have a launcher loader, a matter compressor, a matter filter. I mean, we've got pretty much what we need. Yeah. And uh, if you can look at our, our weapons, we've got rocket arrays, and we didn't even need all this stuff yet. We've got a ton of launchers, and we, uh, we're in good shape. Launcher guidance would be good. That's true. Launcher guidance would help as well. Um, I don't think we've come across one of those. That's basically, that's probably the one main one we're missing there. Um, anyway, I think I'm going to kill our friend. Uh, well, I don't have to do with this. Because he's going to raise our alert unnecessarily. Killer friends, that's what I have to say. <laughs> MTF, will you be my friend? <laughs> oh, whoops, I'm gonna like overheat myself here. Good job. Uh, 
Uh, we're not going to need the optical array soon, probably. Going to end up pulling that off for something else. <laughs> Josh and Ship G, yes. <laughs> Alright, we'll watch our heat so I don't get messed up. Alright, carrying anything I actually want. Advanced heat sinks. A lot. Of, he's got three advanced heat sinks? Wow. I normally don't kill friends. I'm, I'm nice like that. And he's got prototype legs, but. We are a tread spot. We don't really want his legs. But actually, we could take one of them. Oh, they're all beat up, too. I was going to say, because we have an extra power source we don't need. And we even have a heat sink we don't need to. Could get rid of that heat sink. And I'm going to clean this stuff out from our inventory right now, anyway. Um, drop the cold fusion reactor. Yeah. And then just take these legs. Just to have some extra prop. Uh, okay, we're at it. We're, we're done here. Time to go back. Oh, uh, yes. Now we're going to evolve. Um, <clears throat> so I've been holding off three weapons uh, specifically because, yeah, we're mainly doing launchers when we can, and we've been using a lot of cannons actually this run too, but we're not doing gun type stuff, so we really don't probably want to expend too many slots on weapons. Um, for this purpose, we could start to get into some extra prop. Maybe it's time for another tread slot we're right on the edge in terms of support um oh part of the re actually part of the reason for that is simply that we don't have heavy treads right now we have one only one left instead of uh instead of two like we had before we we're running on a forced heavy heavy tread slots so that's part of the reason we're so close to actually being overweight we wouldn't be otherwise so the, oh, no, the argument for treads more treads would only be just to have some extra backups attached and also uh, just, yeah, worry even less about support. Also, the advantage is if you're running uh, non-heavy treads, it's easier to support your stuff. But if we're not running heavy treads, we're probably not going to be able to sterilize very well. Um, well, at least we won't be doing it the way I've been doing it. The way I've been doing it is less launching and more siege mode cannon killing everything. Um, that's that's been effective enough. Uh, launchers only played a small part in that because we didn't. Re we've only been triggering high security very shortly before sterilizing uh, because we were driving down the alert. Oh, that's right. That's the other thing we're doing is using NC couplers for that. So maybe we'll go with one extra plop slot for now and one extra utility. We definitely want more utility. We're going to try and get by without the power. We shouldn't need power, really. Overall, we're not uh, heavy on power unless we're using thermal cannons, but we're not using too many of those. We're mixing thermal and kinetics together. So maybe I'll throw in one prop slot, which is kind of odd because normally if you're going to do heavy treads, you want an even number of slots, but um, I think this would be good for now. And we'll probably end up throwing, doing the same thing for the next evolution, I would guess. Uh, unless you decide to really need a power source, which really at this part of the game, you can go with another power source. So now we can throw on our extra medium treads there. And we don't even really have a whole lot for this slot. Although we could actually, if I wanted to, I could put on more armor. We could just take off the optical array. We don't actually need that anymore. And put on our heavy insulated plating, but uh, with, for even more armor. But not a strong need for that. Our heavy treads did not take any damage yet, which is good. We have Farcom. Our current influence is zero. We're coming in at zero. So what we can do is um, we're going to need more heavy treads. And so at this point, though, we should even be able to get heavy treads on this floor. Um, it's possible anyway, but it's also easy if we can just drop in. If we can get an NC coupler and drop into the waste, we'll be in good shape uh, to get some more. Might also get corrupted, but, you know, been lucky so far. Grab a cannon. Recall stabilizer. Hard light generator. Those numbers were changed in the next release. Slightly different from what I reported as well. Oh, okay. Well, we found a garrison. Wait a minute. That's a worker. Tell me what you know. No applicable shoot records found in memory. Does not compute. All right, there's no shoots on this floor. It's a zero shoot factory floor. No. That happens. <laughs> oh well, at least we know the answer. Um, yeah, that's 
unfortunate. Okay, no shoots at all. Mm. All right, another source of treads would be heavies. Actually, it's hilarious. We found a heavy coupler. I didn't take it, but we could have used that to take down a heavy and take his treads. Pretty sure there's still a shoot here somewhere. There can't be. It says no shoot records. Doesn't fine shoots have a range? No. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure fine shoots does not have a range. It's only a, it's across the entire floor. I'm pretty sure. Does it have a range? If it does, it'll tell us. All right, fine. We'll hack him again. Uh, well, I'm not hacking him. I'll look at this. Um, Reveal mark sh uh, the shoot this worker might use if immediately task disposal. Yeah, there's just no range. Never had a zero shoot factory. Um, well, then uh, you uh, have been really lucky, or yeah, you just don't uh, check for shoots on uh, uh, the ones that you didn't have shoots on, you just didn't check <laughs> because there's no guarantee of having shoots. Yeah, fact, the thing is, factories maps are huge. And there's a lot of traps spread across the map, and it's picked randomly from among the possibilities, but there's no guarantee of a shoot trap. It's, it's completely random, so there's uh, no chance. Uh, there's, it's not guaranteed. It's never been guaranteed to have shoot traps. It's, it's not, it's, I mean, it's less likely because of, yeah, it's, it's not, uh, one second. Let me, uh, one second, I guess I'm going to do here real quick. All right, sorry about that. Um, super unlikely. Yeah, it's uh, it's. I mean, yeah, it's it's gonna end up being less likely. It definitely happens. I mean, I know it happens because, like, in development too. I uh, well, I need to find shoots and uh, like for some reason on a map, and I'll teleport myself to a factory and you know look uh, for shoot traps, and there aren't any. You got to switch to another factory floor. So yeah, it's definitely a thing. But anyway, yeah, that workers can go across an entire map to find a shoot trap. So really, you only have to hack one to get it. It's not range based at all. If it was, it would also be in the description, which we saw there. Um, okay, a oh, reinforced fission core. Oh, that's actually would be pretty nice. Uh, it would be too heavy for us, I believe. I like reinforced when I'm heavy, uh, heavy bots because they've got they're uh, a lot less likely to get taken out. But that's a really it's really heavy, but now we have five slots. Technically, we can use it. Um, all right, we'll drop our current one, actually. There we go. Yeah, we'll still be okay. Uh, since we got our extra slot, we're good with that. Uh, prototype device. Take RNF. Yeah, I'm definitely taking uh, reinforced. I always like reinforced on uh, these bots. You can see it's got 250 integrity. These things last forever. So as long as you can support... And, and they also have good decent storage, but yeah, as long as you can support the uh, mass, they're a really good pick for a combat build. Uh, there's an ARC door to Southwest. All right, so yeah, basically it's, what do we want to do with a garrison? I, I'd like to actually just check the garrison couplers and then uh, shut it down. First, I'm gonna wait for that ARC to leave because he's obviously coming out here. There he goes. <laughs> this is not good. I'm gonna get caught. 28, 82. Ah, oh, he's too big right here. I was hoping it was a small garrison, and if I shot to the southeast, I could get around. And you know what? I almost did. I shot here, and I slightly missed. Um, hey, Plexion, welcome to the stream. Um, just blow it up. Uh, well, my that's blow what up? I'm talking about the ARC. I don't want to get spotted by the ARC. I don't care about the garrison. I'm talking about, I wanted to head to the southeast so I could hack it and avoid the, gar the ARC entirely. Blow up the garrison, that's not a good idea. There's also a heavy down here, that's nice. Um, all right, he opened, shoot. And no overweight, eh, saw that coming. killing each other. I, 
didn't see a comment on that though. I didn't see the log message. Did one of them just get a fab net? All right. Um. Anyway, sure. <laughs> I do have fab nets running. That's right. Oh, that's another thing I was thinking about last night. Is how to nerf fab net. Oh, and I forgot to write it down when I woke up. As I was going to sleep, I uh, thought of how to nerf it. I mean, there's always planned to get nerfed, but I didn't know how, and so I just put it in the game, just to let people to play with it, right? Uh, well, let me write it down real quick. I'm just gonna go pen click here. Um, Not really nerf technically, just balance. Um, is this your fault, MTF? No, it's not MTF's fault. I, but when I implemented it, I already knew it was extremely powerful. There was no way it could be balanced properly. It's a, it's, it's, it's actually not a because it has no balancing factor. Because fab nets don't really have a strong balancing factor. All they do is make it so that you can't use the fabricator for uh, fabricating things. That's the only balancing factor. And so for a lot of people, you don't need to fabricate anyway. It's kind of an optional thing. So it really doesn't have enough of a balancing factor to prevent you from wanting to do it. And it has to be good enough that you'd want to do it, right, sometimes. And it, but it, and if it's, if it's like, if it has a much smaller effect, uh, then, you know, people might do it, do it randomly, but, and then it's not as fun or interesting. So anyway, we make it fun and interesting. We need to make it, it has to be good, but it also has to have some kind of counterbalancing element to it. So anyway, yeah, I, I came up with a counterbalancing factor uh, last night that will work with that. It'll be something that, you'll, so you'll still want to do fab nets. It might be something you'll want to do, but there could be consequences, other kinds of consequences to it. So that's something some people will want to do. It'll become something that not everyone always wants to do, because right now it kind of is. Um, as intended, I mean, when it was first, when it was put in, that's what I was uh, going to do with it. Uh, is, uh, let everyone play with it being that kind of a neat little thing to do. But anyway, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> no, MDF didn't do anything. No, I can't wait for derelicts to turn on you via Fabnet because they were originally created by everyone. No, that's that's not the uh, that's not the actual effect. Um, I, I can tell you the effect anyway. I haven't gotten into the details yet of how it'll work, but the general idea of the Fabnet is that um, each time the Fabnet takes effect, like each time a robot turns because of a fab net, there's a chance of, an, of a floor-wide machine lockdown. Um, all machines uh, on the floor because they're, they know they're being, their system's been seriously hacked. Um, so it'll be, it'll still be a good thing you do, but there could be consequences. It's random though, yeah. So it's, it might not happen to you, right? It's, it's, it'll be random, it's, it's, it'll increase the, the random possibilities there so you'll still it'll still be good but i think it's yeah plexion agrees there too and mtf likes it that's good mtf likes it there will be no salt arcs for the next five minutes <laughs> but yeah it's it's it, i think it seems like a pretty good counterbalance um it'll it'll still be as useful as it is now so it'll which is pretty good i i balanced it so that when you have a higher level you know, when you get up near the cap you can get um you know, almost every squad you meet will end up uh, with a turn to bot, which can really change things. But at the same time, this will mean you might lose all the machines. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right, right. The operators thing is something I was thinking about last night. I hadn't decided how I feel about the operator uh, thing. Um, but so, like I said, I haven't thought through the entire repercussions of this and how it'll also be balanced. It will itself be balanced. But the operators thing um, is is something to look at. But yeah. Yeah, it would include garrisons. Um, remember, locking a garrison doesn't mean they can't dispatch from the garrison, though. It just means you can't access the controls anymore. But, uh, yeah, the operators definitely was one of the things that I, I was thinking the last night. I was, but basically, lately, uh, before I go to sleep in the evening, I have there's a lot of design things to think through in Cogmine, so before I go to bed, I think of one thing uh, that I'd like to think about as I'm falling asleep. And last night's topic was Fabnet. <laughs> Because uh, some of these things, it's when you're sitting down and developing at your computer, it's harder to come up with. Uh, you know, it's you're in a different mindset, you're in a development mindset. It's uh, not maybe not the same kind of design mindset. You don't have your mind is less likely to wander as you're looking at stuff on the screen rather than just sitting there with your eyes closed. So 
uh, I like to pick a topic and, and go over it at that time and often come up with uh, wilder solutions um, or approaches to things. But yeah, Beta 11's been big with that because we're having so many changes. All right, so back to the actual game we're playing here. Uh, let's see, we've got... Uh, all right, so yeah, I, I was basically looking in here to see if we get lucky with a, um, a heavy coupler, which is unlikely, but at the same time, um, we did get one earlier, <laughs> which means I think we probably used up that luck. But anyway, yeah, with a heavy coupler, we could more easily just attack a heavy and take their heavy treads, because we're going to need... A, we're going to want another source of heavy treads now. Um, anyway, I don't really want any of these couplers... Um, or we could use them, but we're not really a Rift bot, and it's not going to help us towards our goal anyway. So I'm just going to uh, get rid of these. <laughs> Flex again does the exact same thing. The only difference is I have no program knowledge, so the design ideas never get realized. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In my case, they they find their way into the game. Many have. All right. There's a Ku penetrator. That's that's nice. Uh, do I even want that? Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, some crap I can drop. Oh, we have a coil gun we can replace. Uh, cold plasma cannon. Hmm. Almost destroyed, but... Hmm. Alright, I guess we'll replace that. Oh, yeah, also there's this grunt coming. I guess we have to deal with the grunt. Deal with grunt. Oh yeah, there's a heavy around the corner too. I should probably remember that. <laughs> Did not remember that. Also, I forgot to drop on the, uh, a leg. Free armor. All right, now there's a security rotation and specialists coming. I don't really mind the specialists, I guess. Hmm. Uh, what's that other grunt doing? He's just sitting there. Wow. And there goes the heavy. He's leaving. <laughs> okay, then. My task is done. I must go. Yeah, exactly. He's, he called in reinforcements and uh, now he's leaving all right I, I also had to come back down and grab this thing um, all right. oh the one in, I don't have that one anymore uh, let's see I put on another heat sink just as heat sink armor because I'm not using yeah uh, I'm not using all our slots anyway oh there's a lot of matter here Now it's over here. It's giving his lunch break on account of no cog mines. <laughs> uh, let's see, another flight unit. All right, we're in the southeast corner of the map. Uh, I did, like I said, I did kind of want to take out a heavy, but just wait. I guess the specialists are coming from somewhere further away. Um, improved remote data jack. Hey, wait, we're just using. We just have a regular remote data jack. So I guess we can take that, even though it's not very vital for what we're doing. Maybe upgrade. Yes, hello, Runia. Welcome. Do you think heavies packed their lunch so do they go to the local fab for lunch? <laughs> Alright, we need... Um, I gotta decide what to do this terminal. Uh, purge threat. Our threat is low. It's a direct hack, which is nice at a security level two. That's a, that would be something I definitely want to do if our alert was anywhere. Not low, but it's pretty decent. So I guess I'll leave it there. Uh, now that the lunch is from LunchNet, yeah. Well, we can always do our favorite hack and fail it, and uh, it's still worth it. Oh shoot, there they come. At least is that them? I could just no, it might be them. Hmm. They're just sitting there. That's not them. They're just wandering around. Okay. Anyway, I don't really care about getting traced right now, actually, because we don't mind adding a few bots. Because the, as long as it's not hunters. If it's hunters, we'll just leave and avoid them. But if it's uh, grunts, then we're happy to take out grunts. Grunts are work 
Grunts are good for uh, sterilization. Oh, there's a DSF. Fectus is in here, so he's not going to tell me to hack it. <laughs> uh, it's a big old group over there. Oh, there's the specialist. Hello, specialist. Just gonna kind of hang around. Oh, this would be a good opportunity to just use a missile launcher and blow them all away, but... Yeah, I prefer to avoid that, if only because... Uh, I like to be in siege mode. It's a really good opportunity, though. I wonder where those specialists, how far up they're going. And they're probably going pretty far. Hmm. I'm going to wait. Well, I want to wait because I decided... All right, here come... There's hunters to the northeast. I bet they're the ones that got called to the terminal. Anyway, I want to wait because I think I'd like to, before raising the alert uh, for any reason, technically it just dropped again on its own, but before raising it for any reason, I think it would be nice to uh, get a more, get a bigger hold on the floor, which we don't have yet. Basically, learn more of the map. Mass driver. Cargo convoy. Uh oh. Had some fun with them earlier. Uh, looks like we're in a dead end area here. Hmm, could use a structural scanner for the guys. Another heavy. He's actually coming this way. South. <laughs> Heavy. Did someone say dead end area? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I can keep moving along. He hasn't reported us yet. There comes another repair squad. Oh, that is not good. Don't want to get spotted out in the open here. He's going to repair the wall. There's a grunt to the north. All right. Heavy did not report us. What is that grunt doing? Is that grunt must have been part of the uh, the squad from earlier. I see a fabricator to the northwest. Yeah, it's a hauler escort. You're right. Mega Fab and Hunter. Hunter's coming this way fast. Barely missed him. Uh, you coming in here? Please don't come in here. He's coming in here. We're going siege. Yes, lovely. We had to retreat from the Mega Fab though. Hunters are going to go the other way. And then we're go this way. Uh-oh. These grunts to the southeast look like they're going to come right through that room. Okay. Might be a good opportunity to shoot them. As long as those hunters leave. I don't want to fight the hunters. Uh-oh. This grunt to the west is coming for us, too. Okay. I'm going to see you right here. 
and hope it doesn't come back to bite me. <laughs> we'll never forget Vex's morbid fascination with mega fabricators. Yes, we should we should get closer so we can hear it better. Here come the grunts. Hello, surprise attack. Damn it. Damn it, that's even worse. <laughs> Great. <laughs> it turned the guy in the doorway. I would have preferred it not turn him and turn someone in out outside there. Hello, everyone. Oh, good. I think the hunter's out of range now. That means all these guys get to die. Yes, perfect, perfect. Get out of my way. These guys are going back and forth. We've got this corridor nice and held down. Uh, I dropped that earlier, that's right. All right, don't have the heat sink there. Oh, oh, what is this building? <laughs> this is building something. Oh, it's building a soldier. We can go liberate him. It's one of the new hacks, but we don't need to liberate him. It's pretty funny though. I don't really want allies. Did you really have to step in front of me? Bring it on, programmer. We got a programmer coming now. Actually, do I have anything under me? I do. Tearing engine, damn it. Oh, well, whatever, it's not a big deal. Now we have heavy insulated plating. Just giving us EM resistance versus this dude who's gonna get so surprised when we blast him. Oh, damn it, he's not coming yet. Come on around the corner. There you are. Didn't kill him though. Now he's dead. It just wanted to see you better. It's what watchers do. <laughs> That's true. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, finish that. That grunt is about to be finished. I guess we'll stay here and kill the grunt too then. And then go look for NC couplers and terminals. And get rid of this guy. There we go. It does build two, yes. It build three. <laughs> We're both wrong. Yeah, I don't I've never actually seen uh I think it used to build one. That's right. Before the latest update, it would only build one. Oh shoot, now there's a hunter. That's not good. Well at least he's in the open. Um it used to only build one. Actually, wait, does that hunter even know we're here? He doesn't. But he's going to come this way and find us soon. Oh, and there's a grunt, too. Uh, I don't really want to stand here anymore. <laughs> but we don't have... I would really like to move east right now. Uh, is this... Can I have... Do we have five turns left? I doubt it. I guess I should stay in siege mode. Yeah. Too bad. Anyway, yeah, it used to... Fabricators used to only produce one bot. But now that it's uh, telegraphed, it produces more than one. I think that was the change. I should have used to pull on something else. Uh, I'd like to have another thermal weapon on, but... Uh, shit. Funny that fabricator is still in perfect working order. Matter's getting a little low. I almost do this with just our thermal weapons. I don't want to throw on another cannon here. And turn off the heavy machine gun. Oh, come on. <laughs> All right, I'll wait. I will continue waiting. I will continue waiting. I'm still continuing waiting. 
Oh well, I guess it's not all bad, but they're blocking stuff. Alright, almost got him. Ah, ooh, no. Oh, die, please. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. Well, well, up their kill count there. Now it is time to let's see. We're actually overweight using this armor, so we're gonna pull that off. We're gonna turn, take it, leave siege mode, pull off the armor, uh, put on our tractor beam, so that we max out our matter again. Yes, and then. Get out of siege mode. And is there anything here that we don't actually want? Gauss rifle over there. Nothing I really want. Um, actually, though, we're kind of low on utility. So. Advanced heatsink. Heatsink armor. Our regular targeting computer. Actually, that would be better than heatsink armor here. Even though I've already got two targeting computers. But we're running lower on. Uh, Defensive stuff becoming more an offensive build, which is perfectly fine. I'm actually going to take a regular target computer for now. Although, you know what? I should have taken a TNC earlier. Heat still low. Good. This guy had experimental propulsion shielding. Okay. And, uh,. And experimental propulsion shield. Hmm. Actually, how much integrity does this thing have? 150. Huh, that might be decent. Hey, Nikolai! <laughs> Welcome. Guess you're back for a few minutes at least. <laughs> Nice to see you. We are uh, doing slow sterilization. You know what? This is propulsion shielding. Uh, I, want, I guess it might actually work out to save our heavy treads as long as possible, which is kind of a funny thing to do, but it makes some sense, especially considering our current armor situation. Anyway, right? If you look at the coverage, yeah, our our uh, whoops, our uh, treads have a lot of the coverage. So yeah, this could actually even work. Um, it's better than what we've got now. Kind of amusing. I'm using experimental propulsion shielding to cover our treads. Alright, I guess I'd like to know what these are too. Precision energy filters is what these are. Huh. Those are pretty sweet for an energy sucking build. Wait a minute. Oh, that's right, I have a light antimatter reactor. I was gonna say, those energy are at 25 per mm. we do get drained over the longer term with our current energy situation because I don't have enough treads to keep this up. Speaking of treads, no one dropped any treads, huh? No one dropped any treads. All right, but probably not gonna need an energy filter. These are really good though, and they actually half stack now, although I can't, you can't see that here because uh, there were no stack, they're half stack now, but I'm still running the older build. There is no half stack in this build. I'm still playing X8. Gotta finish this run so I can actually get on to the next build, which I guess could be X considered X10. It was gonna be X9 too, but it's so big now, I might as well just call it X10, even though it's really the remainder of what was gonna be X9, which I'm actually glad it released early. Um, X9 released it half done, just so people could play with what I'd done already. Unknown piercing weapon of the West, because mainly, uh, Uh, because yeah, the ex overall the uh, all the new updates are taking a while. Would have been too long. All right, we actually made it to the fabricator now too. <laughs> X nine two, X nine harder. That's right. Hmm. Yeah, the soldier schematic is still loaded. All right, so we could do a fabnet, but honestly, I don't, we don't have any botnets out, so I bet we're not going to be able to do this. Ten percent. Yeah, actually, we could just get traced. I don't really mind getting traced again, unless it's hunters. I like it when it's friends. Okay, 
didn't work. Well, it did work. I knew that was going to happen. Going exactly as planned. Um... I'm thinking of whether to take in more of this shielding. Uh, I guess you can not bother. Current alert 154 is still low. That's good. Task failed successfully. Yes! <laughs> Some cool new beta already released. Instead, you're running out of pre release numbers. No, no. We're, we can easily go 10, 11, 12. But we're getting close to the end anyway. I mean, you might not have seen then, Nikolai, that the release is coming out and uh, the beta is coming out in uh, March. Uh, there's a shield generator. Ooh, a basic one. And we can't run that with this energy, but we could if we had the reinforced stuff. And there's an enhanced Gauss cannon. Still just kind of sticking with what I've got here. It's also improved shield generators. That, uh, hmm, 1 to 5 ratio. 25%. I did have a shield generator earlier on in this run, and it came in pretty handy. But it's gonna be hard to run that. But I'm gonna pick one up. Let's just be wary of engine power and turn it off if necessary. Oh, here come hunters, because of course it summoned hunters. Alright, let's see if we can go through this other way then. I don't want to mess with hunters. Okay, that's not the wall I wanted to destroy, but it'll work. Um, proved Kinacelerator. Not using enough kinetics, and mainly mixing thermals and kinetics. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't play it all since August and didn't keep track of news, too. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, the big, big new one is coming out uh, in March, so it should be less than two months away now. A lot of hunters down there. Nobody open this door, please. Thank you. Another cargo convoy. Oh, all right. There's a door up to the north there too. We still run. I don't want to go north though. North heads toward the middle of the map. This is gonna be a little easier, so we're gonna head this way. Programmers. Hmm. All right. These other grunts look like they're headed into the room, or are they not? Oh shoot, are they not? If they don't head into the room, that's actually bad. Need to wait and see what they're gonna do. It looks like they're not headed into the room, which means I probably want to go into the room myself. I'd also like the TNC, but <clears throat> yes, thank you for the support, Nikolai. Yeah, the Patreon has more frequent updates too, more recent stuff. Yeah, but the next one, I hope this week to be finishing up the next release. I don't know if it'll actually be released this week or by the end of the week, but uh, it's getting a lot closer. It might, it'll probably end up being uh, uh, next week at some point. will be the next one with all the big updates I've been working on. Long retract beam, advanced sensor. I don't really need that. Programmer's going to be coming soon. There he is, probably, huh? There are another, oh, two programmers. Alright, I don't really want to stand on this side. I'm going to stand to the south. We're going to... Yeah, it'll probably work out. Alright, here they come. 99 left on the heavy treads. Here they come. 3, 2, 1. Welcome to my kill room. <laughs> Fabnet algorithm triggers P70 Sage IFF filter rewrite. I actually didn't really need to rewrite him, but okay. Dude, he stole my kill. My Fabnet stole my kill. <laughs> Not cool, Fabnet. <laughs> now he's gonna run off and go after the sentry. <laughs> That's true, MTF. Yeah, we've only gained 200 alert. I'm, I'm not. I don't know. I, I didn't. Uh, follow your sterilization run, but I am, imagine you might have taken the route of driving up alert very fast and then fighting your way through high security, because I've been doing the opposite, which is keeping alert as low as possible and not hitting high security until right before sterilization. I'm just going to sit here and wait and see what happens. But yeah, that, if you're powerful enough, that approach will work and it'll be much faster too, to just get hit high sec intentionally, just so you can launch her everything to death. 
Oh, you're doing exactly what you did? Oh, okay. Would find a shoot. Uh, right. And then ramp up alert. Right. Oh, that's right. Finding the exit first. Yeah, 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 exactly. That's the other thing I hadn't done yet. Here yet. Is we'd, that's what we were doing in the previous ones. Yeah, I was finding an exit and uh, and trying to keep alert low. So that's why I didn't want to... I skipped like that big group earlier instead of attacking them with a launcher. But yeah, we don't have our exit yet. And we're looking... So yeah, about that. We're looking for... I guess we're looking for our cave's exit, which is generally what you want to go into a branch. Um, I mean, technically, extension could work, but... Yes. Yeah, we need to find an exit. What happened to that? Oh, it was temporary, right. That the programmer is now turned back. Okay. There he goes. All right, he's leaving. I'm just going to sit here in speed mode for a little while. Okay, we're done with speed mode. Time to get a move on. And fight that sentry. But yes, we are still looking for exits. We only found one terminal so far. Um, yeah, that would be a set. That one doesn't count. Uh, do you need to head south to get out of you know, southwest? Got to go okay as extension as possible, but rough? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It would be high alert, so it would be more dangerous. Caves is definitely preferable. Plus, you get the benefits to the caves as well, so that would be our goal. Just got to make sure it's possible. Mm, let's get the sentry for now. Although, he's got treads. Ooh, I want his treads. I don't want treads. But these doors are tempting. And I know Farcom is telling us there's nothing up there, so I wanted to check out what's behind the doors. Okay. Hey, Vectus, there are tons of robots here. This doesn't look very sterile. No, it is not. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I did want to. I did want to wake him up, so that's good. Let's get him over here and go into siege mode and wait for him right here. This is a good spot. I want your shreds, dude. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. All right, get over here. Give me a minute. Oh, he obliged us with two treads. How nice of him. Um, I have to say this is pretty different from the version of XCOM I played, too. Funny. Yeah, I've, people have... Ever since I mentioned that, people have been wanting me to stream that. I, it's, I think it would be a lot of fun to stream. Um, especially since I could also talk about the development and, you know, history behind uh, Cogbind as well. It'd be a lot of fun, I think. We'll get to do that eventually, I'm sure. Uh, coil gun, that's right. Oh, actually, yeah, KE Penetrator has a massive wide range there. Hmm. Coil gun is not necessarily outright worse than it. Again, those things were all rebalanced. Wave gun. Although, I guess one thing I hadn't been comparing is our current improved heavy machine gun. But, yeah, I like it gets as fast. Pre nerf cave penetrator. <laughs> I gotta grab it. <laughs> Alright, see you around, Nikolai. I'm sure we'll be seeing more of Nikolai once uh, Beta 11 is really out there. Um, all right, I'm going to keep exploring then. We are out of heavy. Let's see. All right, we got heavy's getting really beat up, though. We're going to have to leave siege mode unless we can get a replacement for that. It'll be kind of annoying. I like my siege mode. Okay, there's another sentry to the west. And hunters to the east are doing what? Looks like they're coming up this way, so I'm going to go the other way. Another sentry to the northwest. Particle charger. Explosive explosive room. Oh, here come the here come the hunters. Kinda wanna shoot this hauler to our south there. Our influence is low, but also our kill count is pretty low right now. Explosive room, great hiding place. <laughs> Yes, Vectus has excellent uh, tactical advice. Hmm. 
Oh, he's behind a wall. Oh, we find and found another terminal. All right. What can you tell us, terminal? Uh, improved particle charger. Actually, hmm. thinking about actually using an improved particle charger. Considering using thermal cannons. <laughs> Thank you, Nikolai. Yeah, we've so far it's been a slow show for sure compared to a lot of the other streams because I'm actually trying to accomplish this goal here. Um, which is yeah, it's kind of dangerous, so I'm taking an extra save. Terminal index is G for twenty-five percent. Considering security level two, security level two, the other idea would be a Trojan here. We're not going to get exits. I'm kind of tempted to do that one. Hmm, it's okay. Schematic lighting management, antimatter. Oh yeah. All right, we found the terminals though. Twenty-seven of them. All right, that'll help somewhat. I'd like to get some more terminals in because uh, uh, I want to find the exits. And wow, damn! Unfortunately, the southwest corner of the map I wanted to explore does not have a lot of terminals, but there's a few down there. So. 27, it's gotta be wrong. Why is that gotta be wrong? It's pretty normal. <laughs> it's a factory floor. Oh uh, yeah, you're thinking, some of them are DSFs. That's what you're thinking. Because DSFs add like five or six extra terminals. So yeah, that would be part of it. That is true. So it's not wrong, but just not all terminals we actually want. See, like here, this one in the next room is actually DSF. <laughs> it's gonna throw seriously throw off index terminal users. Yeah, there there is some impact there. Oh, you know what we could do? We get some more treads off these guys. Um, get some more treads off these guys. Oh, there's a heavy down there. I'd like your treads too, Mr. Heavy. But I'd like to not <laughs> just do a little trolling. Yes. <laughs> mm, all right, we'll go this way. Investigation redirected. All right, let's uh, wait right here with siege mode. And, oops. Oh, it's double. Didn't realize, I thought this wall was too thick probably. It's not. Oh wow, whoops, I should not have run the plasma cannon. I forgot, shoot. Oh no, it's because of the shield generator, which is helpful, but also less, not also not super helpful here. Um, here we go. Fire these guys. Can't keep that up forever. Oh wow, we're gonna melt the guy. <laughs> if only we had even more thermals. Um, yeah, we can keep it up without the shield. Right and he's melted. In range of anything? Oh, he's only in range of our machine gun, which would be a bad. So it's not a good idea to fight that guy from here unless I attach some other weapons here. I still have a mini assault cannon. You know what? I probably should have replaced that earlier. Um, that was a mistake. Mistakes for me. And there goes the wall. <laughs> Yes, having myself a comedy here. All right, I'm gonna have to wait a little bit. I'm waiting for the engineers to leave, and then I'm gonna blow down this wall. Turn on our shield generator and kill that guy. He be dead. I guess that might have been a little too far on, down on the screen. You probably, guys probably didn't see that. Just hit him and he blasted into parts, and unfortunately, he did not drop any treads, but whatever. We did find an exit. Now I want to know where it leads. Actually, this one probably leads to the factory, though. It's almost certainly a factory exit, but it's always worth checking to make sure. And actually, this guy dropped his armor, which is nice. I'd like some armor. Um, oh, you know what we need? We could also use as a repair station. I like that idea. Drop our propulsion shielding there and put on some real armor. But yeah, we could really use a repair station for our heavy treads. But I would very much prefer to have um, 
botnets up before doing that. Alright, and we need a watcher. Alright, here's a watcher up here. Hey, watcher. Drop the interpreter. He's also ill. I, I made him drop the interpreter right in range of a heavy. <laughs> uh, no, we don't have a signal interpreter MTF, but I don't normally I don't normally carry signal interpreters. I, I just take them from watchers when I need them. That almost always works. Rather than wasting an inventory slot on it. It depends on the rate at which you're using them really. And the rate is really low um, for this run. I mean we only need them in the main floors and we only need them. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think you really need one that badly. Because the watchers are everywhere. It's not that hard to figure out where the exits lead. This one to our south, actually. Now it's looking like it could actually be a cave's exit or something else. It's, uh, it's on negative five. Hmm. Anyway, I want that signal interpreter now, but it's also next to a heavy there. When it doesn't work, you accidentally answer a research branch with Farcom. <laughs> Just kill the heavy. Yeah, I do want to kill the heavy. Um, I want his treads. He could really beat us up, but heavies. Yeah, you don't just kill heavies, right? Oh, the problem is if I leave this area, the signal interpreter is probably going to be taken by recyclers. Mm. Oh man, I have really low energy. Oh, wait, we have more treads now. I can put on a bigger power source again. Thank you. Now we have more energy. We can run the shield generator. That was a, that was a mistake. We could easily have done that before and had a little bit of extra... Had an extra, the extra power we needed to run our shield generator. Okay, that can block a lot of damage with the extra energy from just, uh, it's just a shield generator, but that's exactly why we can use it, because even without a lot of energy, you can use a shield generator. All right, um... Yeah, all right, we'll go attack the heavy. I'm gonna go attack the heavy. Watch him be standing on some, well, he won't be standing on exit, I don't think, he's just in a junction right now. There is an exit around the corner, which is kind of dangerous, but at least there's nothing else nearby. And he can't knock us back, which is one of the things that I found was really annoying when I tried to find a, fight a heavy at range with uh, legs that's getting knocked around and hard, being harder to reposition. But we'll have an easier time with the treads here. The only question is mainly do I want to go into siege mode? Actually, wait a minute. Oh, too bad this is like this. I would, I would like to go into siege mode here and take out the wall, but I can't take it out because it's part of a DSF. <laughs> Because what you do is uh, you need to you need time to go into siege mode, so you can either take the consequences during the beginning of the battle, or you can uh, get set up and then start the battle. But to do that against a stationary enemy, you need to be able to create the opening, like I did to the northeast here when we were fighting that sentries the sentries to the south. Oops. We have enough targeting. Damn it. This guy took out our heavy treads in one hit. This is a bad idea. We destroyed all of his treads, that's good. Not really. Okay, we got absolutely nothing from him. And we're in a terrible situation right now. Hmm. What a bad idea, huh? Oh, we don't have siege anymore, right? I can actually move uh, to my heart's content, although lacking. Hmm. They're overweight now. It's actually better to fight him from here, though. The main question is just, I guess, do we want to use a launcher or not? 
Oh, actually now running out of energy. That was a long enough fight to run out of energy. Well then, oh, there's a hunter. Uh, there's a hunter to the south here now. He hasn't spotted us yet though. Overweight, gotta switch back. Well, yeah, taking out that heavy was actually not a great idea. Um, yes, forbidden bottom four. I know you couldn't see the hunter, that's what I was telling you. <laughs> Yeah, at least the signal interpreter wasn't stolen. That's true. I can steal, let's take it back now. Oh, wait, I'm still overweight? God damn it, I switched off the reactor and I'm still overweight. Crap. All right, we're going to have to switch our weapon right here, I guess. Oh, no, we're, we're way overweight. Crap. Those heavy treads were really useful, and I just lost them. That was lost so fast. No, 240 speed is not fine when there's a hunter barreling down on us. Because what I wanted to do is take this. I don't want to fight a hunter out here, but... Half track time? Oh, half track. Mm. Oh, look, it's another informer. Um, also, I should probably get some matter. Particle charger. Huh, it didn't go very well. Hunter. Eh, it's a single hunter now. I went to research at 240 speed recently. I mean, yeah, you can. It's, uh, it's, it's doable. All right, Hunter's actually leaving. So, let you come over here now. Grab the signal interpreter. Flight to Terry mentioned. Not being overweight would be nice. But actually, it's not, it's, our engine isn't even on. The only thing that's putting us overweight. What is putting us overweight? Oh, it's huge. That's right. It's because we're doing huge storage. Shoot, man. Another prop. You know what? This this floor actually would have done better with six prop slots, probably, because um, we're still not quite in uh, heavy treads territory, uh, and we don't we haven't really needed the extra utility. Um, would have been better with six. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't I wouldn't I wasn't thinking about the huge storage unit at the time. I had forgotten. You know, we're already on huge, uh, not high capacity. Normally, I run high capacity. I'm I'm good with that, but. On this particular run, since we were going to do heavy treads, I figured that huge would be the way to go. And so I'm happy we've got huge, but it also does mean it's really heavy, <laughs> easy to go overweight with. But yeah, we could probably do some half tracking here. Uh, it would certainly be better than 240. Uh, and I don't have any other stuff anyway, so we'll have to grab some wheels here. Uh, let's see, our current alert is 1H, which is at least that's good. But our kills count is still pretty low, though. Anyway, find some wheels. Oh. Or some treads. We can find some treads, too! <laughs> oh, we blew off both of his treads, and there's literally a fresh set right around the corner. They're not heavy, but they're treads. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, oh, swarmers. Okay. Well, there's the swarmers and sentry over there. We're going to go this way first. And... Ah, shoot. <laughs> well, that happened quickly. Um, I'm gonna turn off the shield generator, and we're going to load up on uh, thermals here. Let's do heat phase, plasma. Ah, oh, shoot, he can shoot through that wall. <laughs> I, I forgot there was a hole there. <laughs> Fine, we'll make you come around the corner that way. There we go. Did you ID the exit? No, not yet. I'm planning on it. Not get. I haven't gotten to it yet, though. Damn, this guy is stupid. Dodginess. There we go. Alright. Now it's time to put on the tractor beam. Suck up all the matter in the vicinity. Yes. That worked out nicely. And... What else is down there? There goes all the matter, yes. Now we've got tons of it again. Um, gee, heat sink armor yet again. Oh, here comes some swarmers. Huh? 
Anyway, I wanted to check out the southwest corner of the map before IDing the exit. It's not really going to make a difference in our strategy anyway. door. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, shoot. Who did he alert? He's not close enough to alert the swarmers. He was close enough to alert the swarmers. <laughs> Crap. Yes. He didn't, the swarmer didn't get to alert anyone else. Oh, shoot. This, the wall's gone now, though. I'm actually waiting here. Okay, okay, watch your left. Perfect. <laughs> I mean, not that we can't take all these guys out, but <clears throat> I'd rather do it on my own terms. And also, I want one of the biggest... Oh, shoot. There's <laughs> a ton of stormers coming from the north now. <laughs> all right, wall got repaired. Yes, made it out. All right. Oh, oh is that Yaller Patrol? Where? Where? No, there's no Yaller Patrol. There's, there's no Yaller sent out. Vectus, stop. <laughs> Just stop. <laughs> yeah, I saw the swarm was up north, but there's no, there's no Yaller dispatch. The last one was ages ago. Where was it? It's like not even on the. They were moving so fast, and eh, they're just looking around. I mean, the last one, cargo convoy, it was 700 turns ago. The swarmers that come out of that are incredibly fast. Yes, people do look at swarmers slightly differently now. Improved VSS legs, which aren't good in this build, but are good in the next one. Um, well, they're better anyway. Uh, oh, system restoration module. That actually comes in handy for sterilization, long-term play. What else do I actually have here? Um, wait, do I have nothing else I want to put on? Hmm, that's right, there's a single interpreter, but... Anyway, I'll just attach this for now, and then we're going to check out what's inside this guy. Do you have NC couplers? That's what I care about. No NC couplers! It's a lot of grunt couplers and hunter, demolisher, blah, blah, blah. The swarmers in command better believe it's a yaller. <laughs> Cave yaller and Neanderthal ancestors, the modern 9 to 5 factory <laughs> yaller. <laughs> Trojan restock time? Huh. That's actually not something I've uh, I've played with before, and I really do want NC couplers. Seventeen percent fail. Damn. Well, I don't want it to get locked, so that was unfortunate. Uh, we don't have any botnets, you know. That's why we failed that because we lacking we're lacking botnets. Yes, Vectus knows what's up. So does Nightbot. So does MTF, he just won't admit it. <laughs> MTF, the last the, the, the last time I, I heard you mention the word botnet, it was yesterday when you were using them during your last run. So, we know. Another launcher loader. Is the ceiling sound different? No, the ceiling sound is the same. There's also more sounds though, there's a garrison... No, wait. Actually, wait. No, there, there was no... The ceiling sound was new, I think. Um, wasn't the ceiling sound added? Because I added the ceiling sound and also the sound to fabricators, I think it was. This fact, Garrison's ceiling didn't have a sound. It's not, it's not different, though. It's just uh, it's a new sound. Oh, I just lost... That was a really bad segregator. <laughs> that hurt. At the end of a corridor right before that door there? Ouch. Okay. Um, he didn't just spot me, did he? No. Wait, why is he moving? Where's he, where'd he go then if he didn't just spot me? That's weird. Where'd he just go? I can't wait to be excited to see a pile of trap extractors this Runia. Yeah, that's after I... I the, my botnet when I get fabnet. Well, they're different terminals for one thing. All right, programmers. Sure. Can do with programmers. Not 1K and our alert's gonna stop dropping on its own as easily now. Whoa, whoa, we're overweight now. Shoot, didn't know 
does that. Not that it's a huge deal, but now I'm gonna find. Now I want to go find out what that exit leads to. Um. I do want. The, I wanted this restoration restoration for a longer. We don't need. We'll probably want the signal interpreter once we know where the exit. As long as it's a cave exit. Oh, so we will be getting rid of that, but I guess not yet. Shoot. I all this stuff. I'm gonna lose weapons soon, too. Yeah, burn it. <sighs> yeah, that's what I plan on doing, is getting rid of the interpreter. That's what I always do, is just burn them. But what do you mean? Yo, you keep one of your inventory just to burn it? <laughs> I mean, that's not very far removed from uh, just getting one when you need it, and then burn it. <laughs> Another cargo convoy. Wow, that's a lot of cargo convoys. Matter's good, I'm not gonna kill this guy. Well, actually, wait a minute. He's here to steal my parts. So. Kind of wanted to leave the great module on the ground, but can I make it over to the terminal? Is that guy gonna? Oh, he went really fast up there for some reason. I'm hoping that operator goes far enough away around, or goes around the corner, so I can go into his his terminals to the east of us. Looks, I could get through the, from the southern room, but there's swarmers in that room right now. All I'm really going to do is probably a botnet anyway. But And then we're going to head over and up to there and find that exit. Oh, you're saying sterilization runs don't want to do a lot of backtracking? I don't know. Our, it depends on the map, maybe. But our last two factory floors that we sterilized on, I literally explored the entire floor both times. And chose the exit we wanted to leave from. From multiple choices. Got the exits, not from... Interpreters, but from the uh, from hacking. Keep coming back. Hopefully. Man, lost my seat. Exploring can often lead to unexpected damage. Well, we remember we have Farcom too. It means we're not going to be surprised very often. So, if you don't have Farcom, that exploring is a lot more dangerous. Uh, you probably didn't have Farcom in your sterilization build, or did you? Or your sterilization run, I mean. I'm just kind of sitting around here. Actually, wait a minute. Wasn't there a programmer coming? He didn't arrive yet, did he? Where the hell is he coming from? Oh, you did have Farcom. Okay. I didn't kill that programmer yet. I'm kind of getting worried that the programmer will show up over here, so... I'm gonna pull back. Gonna... Everything's getting moved. Oh, he left. Alright, the operator left. Now the swarmers are with the terminal. <laughs> Alright, are they going to leave soon? Probably. Okay, okay, we might make this. Mm. Uh, those swarmers. Pretty sure they're in the open. No, now it's less likely. They're far enough away. Nope, they're over there. Fortunately, they were behind that. Botnet raised chance of fadnet. It does indeed. Botnet is good. I don't think I'm going to be able to get into there and hack that thing. Swarmers can come back. All right, I'm just going to this area for right now. There's an inch century in there. It looks like a dead end room they're in. So anyway, let's find out where this leads. Upper caves, it is indeed the upper caves. Shun 
botnet and you will be rewarded. <laughs> yeah, I did start to look like upper caves. There's going to be another factory exit somewhere around here. But this one started to look more like the caves. Mm, here's another terminal. Is this DSF? Well, finally lost the plasma cannon. That hurt. Man, we've run into a couple of some nasty traps so far. Ooh, there's light armor, though. Also, a accelerator. Um, our, that damaged our armor. For those who don't know, you can see that it damaged our armor. Oh, actually, it gets... Oh, yeah, you can see it damaged our armor from the, the highlight over the next to the L there on the integrity. It's got a little halo around it. That means it was damaged since your last turn. Which was a, a cool suggestion. Actually, I think it was Fine Step who recommended that, wasn't it? It's a good suggestion. Although it was also funny that after I implemented it, uh, I've heard before other players reporting it as a bug. <laughs> it's an animation bug, blah, blah, blah. But it is mentioned also in the manual as well that that's how that works and what it's for. If only you had a trap extractor. Well, you also got to know where the traps are to extract them. So, yeah. But new trapper builds will be pretty cool. Um, probably pretty powerful in some ways. Uh, we'll see how people mess with it. I don't know. But yeah, I, I did share on the Patreon the, the trap extractor rework. A, a GIF demonstrating how it works. I'll be including that information in the next uh, post. All right, anyway, back to what I was going to do here. Uh, let's see, this armor and kin accelerator. All right, we need to put on more weapons again. We kind of rework our, put our weapons back together as well. Uh, we could use a kin accelerator, actually, which would mean I would want to use, like, the kin accelerator. Take one of these. That would probably be good to stick with some kinetics. <laughs> Inventory icons bugging out from corruption effects might as well be a feature. Well, it's not from corruption effects though. It's it's from uh, it's from uh, screen shake, which is not corruption. It's uh, when you take core damage. I mean, yeah, we could call it. We could say that's what it is. But yeah, it's from the screen shake moving the icon and it doesn't get redrawn properly. Which I tried to fix and did not manage to fix. But... Eh. It's... Yeah. I don't know. I want the kin accelerator and the light armor. So we're going to go in this room here now. And yes, that is... Wait, that's not a DSF to the north? What kind of... Oh, it is... Is that a DSF that's arranged north? I didn't notice. What is that? Oh, it's not a DSF. Oh, okay. Let's let's do this before it gets messed up or something. Couldn't quite tell what that was. Ooh. Alert level 1C. We can act how oh, we can purge threat for 20. Uh, I kind of want... You know, purge threat for 20 is good. I'll take purge threat for 20. There we go. Sweet. And then I'll take a botnet. No. Give me botnet. I said give me botnet. Okay. Didn't want to give me botnet. All right. Again, I don't care about getting traced there. Oh, uh, we need to purge. No need to purge threat? Why? What? See, now, I, I, like I said, MTF, you're playing sterilization differently than me. I'm definitely playing it more defensively. There's, what do you mean you don't have to worry about alert? The way I'm playing it, you literally don't even hit high sec until right before sterilization. In other words, you don't have to deal with high sec. It's very weird. It's very safe. It's much easier <laughs> to guarantee you're going to succeed. Wow, good job missing. Mm hmm, that's right, we got better targeting than you. Damn, it's Kin Accelerator. Kin Accelerator is also. Uh, buffed, I think, wasn't it? You're gonna increase uh, for the next release. You're gonna increase. It, it increases uh, 
it can increase minimum damage beyond maximum even. It's not, it, it ends up not really affecting many weapons, but as you can see here, like that's awesome for our mini assault cannon. It immediately gives it all that plus to the damage there. It's really good on both of these guns um, or weapons. MTF one's high alert kills for score. That's true. That's true. That would be a different uh, purpose. We already we're getting decent score from ours, but we're not getting as many high alert. You need a lot of kills being far from exits when assault start is bad. No, like I said, uh, we didn't have that problem before because uh, we didn't get assaults until we were close to uh, sterilization. We literally, you can play this so that your alert stays low enough that you can sterilize before um, before you're sent before many assaults at all. It just takes longer. A wheel. Oh, there's a wheel. No, we don't necessarily need a wheel anymore. We're actually right at the limit here. Mm, we're gonna lose some treads though. For a structural scanner too. Hmm. We don't actually need a structural scanner anymore though. Well, if we go into a new area, we would. There we go, light armor. Oh wait, that'll put us away, won't it? Oh no, it won't. Never mind. Got the plug. Drop the medium armor, so that's not an issue. And now we can grab a wheel. All right, all right. I'm intrigued. Show me how it's done. Well, yeah, the last uh, the last two sterilizations have um, successfully done it. What, what we need to now do now is find NC couplers, um, which we haven't managed to get any of because that'll allow. That's the other way we can lower alert. There's another terminal to our east. Wait, there's a terminal I didn't use in that room in the middle. Cool. Let's go check that out. All right. I will not attack you. All right. Am I missing something over here? Oh. Wait a minute, I didn't actually use this terminal of the west yet, did I? No, because I was waiting. Oh shoot, whoops. <laughs> I'm moving a little too fast there. Um, damn. <laughs> the less exciting way to sterilize, yes. Right, well, we'll show MTF how it's done. It gets more exciting only at the end. Otherwise, before that, it's mostly about staying safe. All right, we are actually at an advantage fighting this guy from a distance. So I would like to stay in the open here. Because we have much better aim than he does, so once you got it targeting like this, it's worth uh, attack fighting from further away. All right, light angular momentum, but have yeah, probably supporting all our stuff along with this huge storage unit. If only we had post buff recoil nullifier, yes. All right, that still can't get down to that room. Operator's now in the wrong spot again. I'd like to get to that terminal, but mainly just to throw a man, throw on botnet, and also just, or even actually just eh, no, get, take the operator, but no, we'll see. Okay, I think we got this now. Everybody's gone. All the swarmers are gone. Good. Hope no one opens the door. Oh look, trap scanners to the east. <laughs> Unknown protection. Hmm. It's probably some kind of shielding. Uh, garrison index is 5%. I would kind of like to go after a garrison, but the index is not going to be good enough. Oh yeah, analyses is something I haven't been doing. That reminded me. Record. Well, that's a lot of exclamation marks on the records there. Uh, analyses. Also, I've been adding more lore. That's the one of the things I was doing last week. Um, along with all the other new stuff I was throwing in. Mm. Um, for the record, no high sex sterilization will not work in research as each next map you enter still have high alert. Um, right. Yeah, I mean, that's the, it works when you can go into caves. But it's the safer approach, yeah, when you have that option. Uh, up in research, you would, yeah, you'd have to go into a 
if you try to do that, you'd have to go into a branch and mainly just use the branch with NC couplers to just throw our alert and the fact that you're jumping into a branch. When you jump into a branch and then try and get out of it quickly, that can work. But it actually, hmm, it depends on your alert um, because you can also technically get to sterilization even if you do a really good job of it, you can sterilize even before high security triggers at all. But yeah, right. Rushing operators in a branch and NC couplers is the right plan. Yeah, that would work out. Um, all right. Anyway, um, what am I doing here? Uh, we're not 1D. Hmm. Just get traced. Advanced plasma cannon. Ooh, okay, I'll take that. And um, and the unknown protection I'm curious about too. Uh, actually, wait a minute. I should have fought him right there. Oh well. Yeah, so current move speed is uh, one sixty-two. generator there for a moment. Since we're back on lower energy storage. Uh, didn't get any treads and our treads are actually really beat up. Shoot, that's gonna suck. It's gonna be hard to finish this one. Uh, I feel like we should speed up uh, in terms of movement speed. Alright, I'm gonna find out what this is too. Ah, it's core shielding. Hmm. Uh, it's actually not terrible for sterilization runs. Get some, get some extra core going. Depends on what else you've got, of course. Like right now, I don't want it. But if I had something in my inventory to replace it with, I wouldn't want to run out of core. Oh, that's right. Also, we can't actually go into a research branches. We're not. We're planning on that now because we have uh, Farcom. That's uh, that 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 really changes everything up there. I'm honestly, I don't think this run's going to do sterilization all the way up. It's. I wanted to try it and just at least sterilize some. Uh, seriously, sterilize some floors in the main complex just to see, see how it plays out, and uh, and get a feel for that. But in terms of long term, actually succeeding at it, I, I'm not. Uh, I'm not really aiming for that. For one, because it'll take a while. But, uh... But, yeah, just going with the flow. Okay. Wave gun, phase cam, we got some old stuff here. Uh... <laughs> carrying so many rocket arrays that we can totally deal with high alert. Sterilization saves you from max sec. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's true. If you can manage to kill that many bots, that's a lot of kills uh, while you're taking damage. I mean, by then you're more powerful too, though. If you've got all your slots and you can siege up with a ton of treads and stuff and armored, wow, you can really be very effective, that's for sure. All right, let me see. Weapons. Going to switch over to drop this phase cannon. Of this plasma camera. This plasma. Yeah, seize up with EM launchers, exactly. Uh, that's the thing, I don't have the EM launchers, but yeah, seizing up with EM launchers. I mean, by then, we'll see what we have. I mean, assuming everything goes okay till then. Here come some friends. That was a free kill. <laughs> yeah, we're sniping it. Oh, check this out. Huh. Let's beat the sentry. 
I'm the sentry now. Oh, didn't manage to kill him that way. Oh, lost the shield generator. Uh, okay, well, I'm done with that slot. Sniping away. These guys didn't drop anything. All right, so yeah, uh, our kill count is still too low. We need to work. We've only explored the bottom, uh, the bottom like, mm, I guess they're about a third of the map. A lot of terminals over here. At least one of those will be DSF. The rest won't be. Uh, I'd like to head up there now. Northwest. All right, I'll go back to this whole thing. Certainly does make things safer, though, when you've killed all the patrols. Wait, what are these traps? Get stasis here, and oh, propulsion shielding was over there at east. I'm sure this area has been picked clean now. Slayers. Ooh. Let's find out if this guy is holding anything fun. Actually, we didn't do a manifest. That could be nice. Probably doesn't have much. He's got coil guns and prototype power. Ah, light neutrino core. Okay, that's... Uh, well, it's even less power storage, isn't it? No, it's not. It's actually not terrible. Um... Hmm. All right. Still can't really use our reinforced. I guess the problem with it is kind of damaged, but I mean, kind of low integrity, not damaged. Uh, all right, engineer, get out of the way so I can take the matter and we're going to leave. Let's go this way. I will switch over to any power source. We're going to have a bit of a problem with propulsion here. The watcher to the west. All right, through the middle of the map. Semi unsafe, but it's also not too bad because we have Farcom, so it's easier to avoid stuff. Hmm. Empty slot still. Kinesis elevator and a particle charger. <laughs> That's definitely a big energy drain. Considering we have a one smaller crappy engine here. Ah, shoot, programmers. I think they called on me. I don't think so. fight them just yet. I want to kill this sentry and try to take his treads. Or lose our treads in the process, right? Um, heat on this is plus 59. I'm trying to see what I can actually manage to fire. I think I'm not going to really use the particle charger. I'm just going to go with the cooling system. Fire through this wall. Dude, stop that. <laughs> Wait a minute, what's that on the ground? Oh, waves, wave gun dropped outside. So does his armor. <laughs> okay, gotcha. I'll take that. And then we're going to step away inside this room here. Take his treads. Oh, oh. It's a bunch of heavy armor in here. Proved treads. Hmm. Gonna drop our support here. One twenty-four. Sheesh, man. Our literally, other than the huge storage unit, our build is only forty-four mass <laughs> for a combat build. I can't even support that heavy armor. 
There's a bunch of heavy, heavy armor here, which would be really nice to be using, but um, it's only going to be usable if we get some serious support, which we can't get. Damn, I need, those, I need heavy treads. Actually, even heavies at this depth don't have heavy treads, huh? There's no way we can get them anymore, huh? One benefit of camping exit is you don't need speed. That's true. But what you do need is uh, uh, durability. I don't really care about speed. What I care about is the durability, which I don't have right now. I'd prefer to have durability over speed. Oh, yeah, I mean, so you could take all the integrity and put it on. Yeah, if you don't move, you just sit on next to the exit and do that. That's true. But I, I pretty much really like to be able to move around. Um, damn. The armor is nice, though. Oh, that's right. I have the insulated plating in my inventory, too, which is uh, also not light. But probably, actually, I should switch over to this. Um, just carry one of these as backup. That's 600 integrity. Yeah, let's drop our insulated plating. I mean, it's nice to have EM, but the integrity here is too much to pass up. It is a lot, yeah. Um, can't actually wear it, though. What have we got here? We've got 10 mass, and 10 mass currently in invested in our armor. We're mainly an offensive build right now, instead, because we can't support it. We just don't have the support on our treads. Oh, we need heavy treads. need heavy treads. The alternative is to literally go with wheels and armor, but eh, I don't really like that idea much. I'm going to take one for now. And we're going to play the slower way anyway. Wheels and armor isn't terrible. Yeah, that's what I used to do a lot on my wheel builds. Is do, but we have too many prop slots to go with a lot of wheels, you know? Unless we want half track instead. And that would actually support us enough. Uh, or we wouldn't be super slow anyway. But mm, that is another alternative. In fact, that's what we might be forced to do. If I lose more treads, I'm going to have to attach wheels, and that'll change up the strategy. But I don't think it's something that we'd have to uh, focus on right now. But we are now at influence 1W, which is actually getting pretty high. 50%. Um, All right, this is going to work. Yeah. All right. And then... Uh, Forty percent. All right, we're gonna attract operators as well. Now I'm gonna leave the armor there. All right. Um. Okay, we now have operator tracking. There's one up there. Okay, I need to find a garrison. Oh, we could try to get for some NC couplers. NC couplers. Uh, programmers. Oh, here they come. That was fast. doesn't know where we are anymore. They show up in a second, though. Eat cannons! Corrupted wheel! That <laughs> Fabnet converted a watcher. <laughs> uh, that's cute. Alright, let's... Uh... Hello there, watch your friends. Yeah, actually it doesn't, uh, it's, I think, uh, wait a minute, it doesn't work in the in the pub, current public release, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Fabnet was, uh, was only supposed to work on armed bots, but I forgot to put, uh, I forgot to put that restriction on it. So it works on all, it was only checking faction bots, it was checking all the bots in the, uh, in the, the yellow faction. The uh, main C combat faction, which doesn't always perfectly align with the armed bots, 
So yeah, there's actually a new check on that. I'm playing the old version, remember? I'm playing an X8, so X9 already fixed that. It's not supposed to work on watchers. Oh shoot, our alert is going up rather quickly now. This is not good. Does that mean it would have worked on drones released by hunters? Uh, that's a good question. I mean, they're yellow, so probably would. <laughs> Man, this is too early. We're not ready for that. I don't want to go to the exit. We're really close now. Uh, damn it. Below the alert. You know what? I bet this is a DSF over here. Oh wait, it can't be a DSF. Never mind. I know it's not a DSF. Good. Not a DSF. Hello, not a DSF. <clears throat> I can already, already tell whether it's a DSF. Because there's... Tells. Alright. Um, I have not been doing this. Zero. Ah! Perfect. Uh, okay, let's not get chased. Alright. Good night, Danny. Damn it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see how this one goes. I'm gonna try to. Alright, get out of these. Holy crap! Three improved heavy armor plating! <laughs> uh. Wow. Hey, what's the integrity on these? It's 600 as well. Hmm. Game is trying to tell you. <laughs> I want to take all this armor. Drop the other armor. Um, what the hell, man? <laughs> uh, our current armor only weighs 7. I mean, 10 total, I mean. Hmm. What else do we have? 5, 15, a kin accelerator. Uh, damn huge storage. Also, the fact that we're using heavy phase cannon is kind of heavy. But I don't really want to drop that for something else lighter. I need. I like using this heavier thermal thing. You have a lot to drop, like red heavy missile. And yeah, that's true. I was waiting to get that shot off, basically, just to way lower alert. But yeah, it's time to get rid of that. I mean, we can fit stuff in inventory for sure. But I'm thinking of also the armor. Hmm. What else do we have? I mean, our. Also, we've red medium treads. <laughs> it's a tough call. All right, what else do I have in here that I need to get rid of? We obviously we're still carrying three rocket arrays, which is kind of overkill, but I'm doing it anyway. Can't stop myself. Uh, heavy machine gun, an improved heavy machine gun 108. I'm gonna drop. Um, let me actually take off the kin accelerator, turn it off. The kin accelerator, so I can look that. I guess I'll drop a heavy machine gun. By a heavy machine gun. Alright, we got two of these armors now. <clears throat> so to get a third, I'd have to I could use the mini assault cannon to get through walls. I'm just gonna make sure I still have a way to get through walls effectively without attaching stuff to do it, but I guess I don't act you know I, I wonder if I actually need a phasing saber. I've been Oh, I always carry a, a backup melee weapon, though, for emergencies, just in case. It's safer. It's always a question of how safe you really want to play it, right? <laughs> anyway, I was thinking of, if I wanted to, what I can do is drop both of my uh, armors that I've, I've been using right now and uh, swap them for a heavy armor and swap out the cannon. That'll actually swap out the cannon for a gun. This will actually put us uh, still underweight again. So what we can do is drop, uh, so you drop medium and light, and put on a heavy, and that puts us five overweight. But if we take the, the phase cannon and put it in something that weighs a little less, we just need to check a. Uh, so you need a, a five, something that's five mass, so like a wave gun if we want to keep thermal. It's going to lower our damage output, but 
Technically, we could also use kinetic, but anyway, now we're back underweight again, and we're using heavy armor instead. So, yeah, I'll do that. Get another wheel and place the two bad treads. Yeah, that's what I planned to doing, but I was waiting for them to get destroyed. Um, I mean, the other, a second wheel will be easy to get a hold of, and uh, then we'll be in good shape. But um, right now, I don't think I need to rush into that. We are in assault wings, though, and I need to get out of it if we can, which I don't think we're going to be able to do fast enough. It depends on where the garrisons are, which I have no idea. I want to. I really want to check what these three rooms have in them, but this might be. I don't know. Well, this might be a bad idea. Makes the chance of getting an assault go up. Heavy phase cannon. Yet more. And a power sword. The thing is, we're probably going to end up using fewer cannons and guns anyway. Oh, an advanced cooling system? Oh, yeah. How much does that weigh? Same weight. Yes. Damn it. Yeah, I think we'll mostly be launching, which means we're not going to have as strong of a need for cannons anymore. Hmm. Now even assault coming. Shoot. And we just dropped a 2C also. <laughs> oh, so close. See, we, we, we were pushed over the edge there. Uh, really, if we hadn't had any NC couplers, or if I'd managed to do any kind of purging of alert through terminals, we wouldn't have hit any assaults yet. And we'd have plenty of time to explore the rest of the floor. But now our first assault's coming in, it's getting a little iffy. I'm gonna kill him, rather than have him run away and get a spotting alert. Oh, yes! Yes, 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 yes. DM. DM did it. That doesn't mean we're... How much was it? Is it a single assault, is it? Assault force, yeah. All right, it's gone. Hard to continuously continuously purge eighty bots worth of alert. Nah, it's 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 not a continuous. Again, you you should watch the other videos to see what we did. If we're not going to manage it again this time, but it totally worked fine. We literally hit high security right before uh, sterilization both times, and it wasn't very hard. Um. Hmm. Oh, sure, it gets harder over time. I mean, this, yeah, the strategy will end up changing. But at the same time, I mean, right now, it's not a, it's not really a case of that, I don't think. It's also that I was... I've been playing this one even less safe than I was playing the ones before. Before, I was less willing to engage until I'd already gotten the means to lower alert. Um, I was avoiding everything. This one, I've actually been fighting more stuff on the way rather than waiting to do so until later. So it's driven up the alert a little faster. Uh, the terminal to the east of us right now. Uh, all right, it'll... Oh, okay, there's a door there. <laughs> oh, what is that guy doing? Oh, is that a redirection? That's a really fast ARC. 28. Yeah, see, now to get through a wall... All right, I have to use matter. I'm pretty sure this does not penetrate, but I'll double check. <laughs> all right, that's DSF. Goodbye. Oh, this is a long and dangerous corridor. Well, it's actually not bad for high sec type stuff. Neutron cannon and a plasma cutter. Stealth treads, exactly, stealth treads. All right, there's a terminal. There's the operator for that terminal too. Advanced drone bay. That's just asking for trouble. This whole room is asking for trouble. I wonder if there's any traps around. level 2 is not going to be very helpful. Uh, there's alert level, but no direct purging. We're not going to be able to hack this thing. Getting very far away from our exit, considering our alert. <laughs> Shoot, there's a sentry over there. 
You can't see us through the machine, though. Purge threat is 9%. Crap. Found another exit? That's true. Oh, it's up caves. Yeah. Look at that. We found another exit. All right. Well, I don't have to go back then. Even though there's a, a armor down that way, which is fine. But yeah, another exit is good. Didn't even notice that one yet. I was more worried about whether the sentry was going to shoot me. All right, there's a single force coming. And no garrison yet either. Damn. Uh, regular shield generator. <laughs> like, dude, I like how you say we're getting far away from an exit. Like you're entering a verbal command to your dev hack vocal parser. <laughs> yep. Yep. I, my son is now a trained code monkey. He's actually just here listening next to me on a, a laptop, listening to whatever I say and, uh, you know, helping out when helping needs. Helping is needed. Maybe I should try that in my runs. Talk to the game. <laughs> I agree. Shield gen is good. Oh, yeah, that's true. I, I was actually thinking about that when I saw it. Regular shield gen would be pretty good, but then I have to drop something for it. I could. I'm thinking of swapping out the optical array, actually. Regular shield gen would be good. The kin accelerator. Uh, it gives me extra damage though. Switching to launchers. Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Getting ahead of ours, or that's, that's a different plan, MTF. I'm not doing that plan. Not yet. But, but, on the back of the other, the general trend, what we can drop is the heavy plasma cannon. And then, uh, we can pick up the shield generator. Are those guys coming for me? No. These guys are just heading this direction. Oh, here comes the assault. Oh, shoot. Uh, how am I going to deal with this assault? I sense an alert coming. Yeah, we might be getting pretty close to launcher territory here now. Considering we don't have heavy treads. <laughs> I think plan is happening. Yeah, I think the fact that we don't have heavy treads is really messing this up. Uh, I would really love to siege up, take it slower, and also take out more, uh, and take down the alert more. Because we're really, we can still get the alert down. It's not a problem. Um, we just needed to find more garrisons and to get to grab some NC couplers from. Mm, okay, anyway, I gotta deal with this guy first, though. One thing at a time. inside this guy. All right. If you guys insist on attacking me, I'll just have to erase you. Oh, look, more treads. Uh, rockets in explosive machine room. Excellent strat. It was, actually. No, actually, that was probably a, that was a safe move because um, I fired the rocket over here, which means if you fire the rocket over there, then um, that machine... Obviously, we're not going to worry about this machine. We're out of its detonation range. But the, all that could happen is, for example, that machine could detonate this machine. But... If it does, then this machine is weakened on the north side, which means the machine, this ex machine's explosion will be sourced from its north side. It's not sourced from the center of the machine. It's, it comes from the north side, which is actually a better place for it from where we are, because we're on the south side, southeast. So if, uh, 
if uh, the, yeah, this if it does blow, it would just damage them a heck of a lot more than us. But anyway, how did the reactor not blow? Well, I mean, it's it doesn't take enough damage, that's for sure. But it also would have to be uh, it has to be destabilized. The only way this one's going to explode is if it destabilized. And so there is a chance it might still explode, but it's not super high. It still might blow up, which is why I'm tempted. To, I'm I don't want to take these treads yet. We'd have to wait like at least we need to wait or whatever the uh, delay is two to ten turns. Explosive potential in there. You can read the the delay is two to ten turns. So we have to wait at least like eight or so turns from now to make sure this machine is not going to blow up when we try to pick up the treads. And uh, I don't think there's anything else out there I actually want anyway. There's matter, which we can we can take the matter if we want by uh, using our tractor beam and then pulling it off before the machine explodes and blows it off for us. But it looks like it's stable. Our alert is now 2T, which is getting rather high. What is this treads? It's only improved treads though. Well, the game just will not uh, allow us to get rid of all our treads just yet. But the medium treads are the one that's going to be the big loss because they're uh, that's got all our support. All right, what else is going on? Uh, I guess we could head north. There's a terminal up there. We can try to use that. Oh wait, what? Oh, the programmer just saw it in the hands pump. Where are you coming from? Oh, here's where we accidentally shoot an engineer and get some more squads called on us. Here's where I'm gonna wish I still had that system restore. Okay, that was really bad because I fired down an entire row of machines. <laughs> uh, that definitely spiked our alert. That would that would normally be something I'd want to avoid. Free alert boxes. Yeah, yeah. It was all because of that. Okay, fine. All right, let's go north. This I don't know what this is up here, but wait, did I take out that sentry yet? Did not take out the sentry yet. All right, let's go take out the sentry. Oh wait. We don't have any Trojans. Do we have Trojans running on this thing? No Trojans, okay. So watch her coming. Terminal? Wait, who did that? more treads, improved ones at that. Mm, armor. Yeah, it's a DSF here. Now I'm curious what our kill count is. Improved shock absorption. I'm thinking about how this might be helpful for, for point blank launching. Hey, youngster, how's it heating up? Yeah, yeah our alert's heating up <laughs> faster than in previous uh, attempts here. The idea is to find a kill zone. Yeah, I know, I know, MCF. That's how we. That's what we did before. I'm just saying, uh, if it comes down to that, like for example, sometimes an enemy slips through. And it gets closer when you're trying to fire at further enemies. And you got unlucky with it, and you have to point blank launcher. That does happen. Obviously, uh, you don't want it to happen, but uh, anyway. It can happen, for sure. And they'll take more damage than you, but still. But yeah, that's what we did last time, was find a good spot to set up uh, for the... Uh, beginning of that. It looks like this is actually not a too bad of a setup here. It looks like the only way to get to this exit is from east and south. And they're open. 
So this is not a bad exit to defend. Oh, there's a heavy over there. Oh, that's exciting. Last heavy did not go well. I think, in fact, he was part of what messed things up. But, okay, we're headed over here anyway. Oh, shoot. 3% corruption. Oops. Wait, no one to stay on that. Oh, they already took it? Yeah. Took it while I was watching. <laughs> Not gonna be too bad, but... Current alert is 3G. Wait, seriously? He dropped his medium treads? Whoa, our, tre our treads are all, all not red anymore. And yeah, what are these? What is this guy carrying? Oh, dude, no. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> you, go away. You go away too. Stop that. I'm stealing my stuff. Um, yeah, we get green treads. That's, I'm actually a little more excited about the green treads, but... Alright, um, let's find out what these are. Drop that gun and pick this up. It's a Tesla bomb? Holy crap. These guys just dropped three Tesla bombs. That guy just stole one of them. <laughs> oh my god. They're Tesla bombs. Um, Alright. Uh, there's another one here. And this guy just stole one. I'm pretty sure it's the guy to the north there. Oh, I almost killed him too. Anyway, I was mainly just wanted to shoo him. I didn't know what they were. But yeah, I need to kill that guy and take his Tesla bombs. He... Um, all right, yeah, that could totally, that, that, that's super awesome. That's like exactly what we need. Thank you, Code Monkeys listening in on the stream and, uh, let me see here, what do I want here? Let's, let's drop our heavy machine gun. And here comes another recycler. I need to make sure I can get that recycle to the northwest, and we need to protect this one from the guy right here. It's the problem is, as soon as I step out in the open, I gotta fight a hunter. He isn't doesn't know we're here yet. All right, we're gonna have to do it this way. Oh no, I do not want to fire that at him. <laughs> I mean, I could, but it's probably not a good idea. Um, oh, just die, please. We will track the other guy. Alright, good. Yeah, I can test up on everything that's not a programmer. Uh, what is this? There's Tesla bomb traps right next to us. There's a good chance this guy's carrying one. There it is. Found it. <laughs> That's true. You can ki programmers will die from the Tesla bombs too because uh, you can detonate their engines and you also detonate the engines of people standing near them. So it still works, especially when they're in groups. If they're alone, yeah, it doesn't work so well. But all right, those hunters. I'd rather not fight them just yet. But at least we got the Tesla bomb free again. Oh, it's faulty. Ah, the one that was stolen is faulty. Haha, <laughs> nice recycler. You saved us from attaching a faulty Tesla bomb. Um, not that I'm, I'm happy that the Tesla bomb is uh, faulty, but he's still the faulty one. <laughs> uh, okay, that's amusing. We did manage to get it back. Uh, all right, our alert is now 3M. Hmm. Hmm. Still just in regular assault rate. Can you repair it? No, you can't repair faulty ones though. All right. Okay.
That was the gun I was using. I guess I don't need it. The only reason to keep it would be to get blown off. Drop alert, sort of. That's... Okay. Um, Alright, now actually we're in pretty good shape for this. Uh, I still would prefer a lower alert if possible. Um, there's a heavy blocking our advance to the east. Could head southeast instead. Oh, thanks for the subscription, Vena Winters. Daughter. Vena Winters' daughter, not Vena Winters. <laughs> Alright, we've got. Um, let's. Alright, we'll get up on matter. Uh, gonna head east here. Okay, I'm gonna not head east because there's multiple 12 carriers. Oh, no, that's no, that's not what I wanted. I was. What? Oh, Fabnet. Fabnet alert. I see a carrier in the north. Fabnet. The, the thing is, I actually managed to install multiple Fabnets before. Um, obviously, <laughs> we have a, a, a decent Fabnet chance right now. The problem is, uh, we're not having. We haven't installed any on this depth, so we're not going to have that advantage later on. But. Um, Thank you, Vayner Winner's Daughter. I love your game, Carmen is awesome. I'm glad you love it, and we're gonna keep making it better. Hey, Jofun at 20. Oh, finally caught one live. Yeah, it's, uh, I hadn't done any in the past couple weeks since I did. I did a lot of dev streaming and alongside the regular streams in the previous two weeks. So I skipped last week too. So not, so anyone trying to follow and uh, check in more recently hasn't been able to do that. But yeah, we're back to sterilizing now. And here come our friends. So we cannot siege anymore, but I think it's time to just give in and launch our stuff. Um, I'm gonna keep the mini assault cannon because it's kind of one of our, it's kind of our digging tool now, mainly because we would go overweight with the pla and, uh, plasma cannon stuff. Mini assault cannon is nice because it's uh, lightweight like a gun, but gives you cannon damage. So let's switch to, uh, I'm still going to switch to probably, let's, let's do rockets. Don't need a Tesla bombs yet for this. Uh, need more engines for EM? Oh, that's the other thing. We can't even use EM yet. We can't use our Tesla bombs because we don't have the uh, power for that. They take a lot of power. We're going to need to build up uh, a new kind of build. We're going to, we, now that we have Tesla bombs, we probably have to go for another power slot and then also start working towards getting, we'll probably do power and, and propulsion then. And then also work on getting some extra energy in the form of uh, wells and stuff. Probably. I mean, that's you got to have that kind of uh, work. Uh, you do not want to run out of power when trying to rely on EM launchers. That's very sad. Love the number crunching on the dev scene. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I guess you would have could have seen them on uh, YouTube as well. There you go. Um, yeah, it's uh, they've been turning out. They turned out pretty well. Um, actually, pretty time. I was going to look at some more stuff at the end of this stream, but eh, it, that's more of an optional thing because we're kind of past the point where I plan on doing anything more that isn't already planned anyway. But anyway, so back to what I'm doing here. I'm going to use the... Uh, I was planning on using the rocket launcher first. Uh, we don't need the rocket array just yet. <laughs> Dev streams the most heart-pouting entertainment you can get in the 21st century, okay? If you say so. Well, but see, this is easy. We could easily just uh, have taken this out. This group, but we could take out with regular guns which would be much better for our alert. Fine, I'll just do it anyway. Feeling like it would have been a better idea to do this with guns. Only because this guy's still charging me. Yeah. You will not arrive at my position. All right, yes, he's dead. Good thing for knockback. He would have gotten a slash off if I didn't have knockback on this. Uh, okay, well, that was gone. But there's another one. It said up there. Remember, in the, in the latest build, we've got multiple assault carriers dispatched. It's, it gives a more clear distinction, so it's not just a single letter which tells you the difference. Uh, 
no more hyperactive engineers. Time to get up here and see what's going on. Oh, here comes a grunt who wants to die. Come on, grunt. You got separated from the group, it looks like. Uh, you gonna come? You gonna come? Around the corner. There he is. Surprise! Oh, he's still alive. Well, he lost his gun. Core shielding on the duelist, though. Incredible turn Yes. Uh, it reminded me of our core. Looks like glanced at, but it looks like we're doing good on that. Uh, some fruit treads up here, which are actually going to be Oh, you don't have just noticed? Our power source is going to need to be replaced soon. Um, those are far away, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, actually, wait. It's not that far away. Okay, that's a long corridor. That's pretty far away. <laughs> I was thinking about the neutrino cores from earlier, but... Eh. Let me see. Let's try a different approach here. Let's see this is the closest thing that's out here. Um, we got fission core down here. Light fission core. Alright, let's let's head south and grab a power source, because ours is up. Oh, shoot. Okay, we found the other ARC. Hello, ARC. I'm tempted to not use launchers on this one. 4A as our current alert. And the power source is, of course, gone now. Crap. Oh, the next ones are in the opposite direction, which would have been a much better direction to go in. <laughs> Shoot. Should have gone that way. <laughs> uh, there's a nice backup room of fission cores over there. Yeek. Uh, I don't really want to stand point blank with this guy though, because they can drop melee bots. I don't want to get donked. Alright, he didn't drop melee bots, so maybe getting donked would have been okay. Or, I mean, stopping him close. Let's see. Um... Yeah, exactly. The room over here is actually a really good place to defend. Um... I like it. Even the central corridor up here would be okay. I mean, the central place, like, standing next to the exit would be fine. In fact, it be, might be a little safer. But, anyway. Get to that, sort of, in a little while. Um, just have to deal with these guys. Shoot. They're going to be able to stream around each other now. Mm. Yeah. Eh, that's the thing about ARCs. Uh, you know, the ARC design is such that they they can carry standard patrols and assaults and stuff, and, but even the standard patrols, the thing is you don't know what's inside, so you can't necessarily plan for what will pop out, because there's a, a different number of possibilities. It's kind of cool. I, I like that approach, rather than having just always being able to see from a distance, whether it be sensors or visual range, the uh, actual bots that are coming. Or even Farcom, you know, Farcom can't tell you what's inside an ARC. You don't want to be at a crossroads? No, I, I actually disagree. I think uh, this here is a, is not a bad spot to defend. Right here at the exit. Because there's a corridor straight east and straight south. And uh, this here is, yeah, it can funnel in a single direction. But if something goes wrong and you accidentally miss and open up a wall, then you have a close uh, attack from different directions anyway. Or there also, we aren't sure if there's another way, but... But, mm, I kind of like being up here. Also, it's safer if, in case you get uh, in a situation that you are just overwhelmed, if you're worried about that. We are less overwhelmed. We are less worried about that in this situation, but it's not impossible. Uh, it's also almost happened a couple times before. Don't plan for failure. Plan for success. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But that that also means that when your plan fails, you uh, you die because you didn't plan for the failure. <laughs> Alright, so the problem with this situation right here, we've got, unfortunately this guy, unless, unfortunately he didn't open up there. Maybe I should have, I guess I could have shot him. Because if he'd opened up in the doorway, he'd be more likely he could block his friends for a little bit while we backed up. Because I don't mind getting shot by one guy, but if I back up too much, all the other guys are going to come through. Let's see what happens. I'm going to back up a little bit. Okay, the other guy back here can actually see us, so he blocked his friends. Um, which is not great, because now they're going to come through the other side probably. So I don't want to back up too much here. Uh, it's going to be hard to get a missile past this guy. 
I don't even have enough energy. They already drained all my energy. <sighs> uh, our energy sucks. Oh, you know what's really going to suck? If they hit our Trinu, Trinu cores, 3% coverage on that thing. Uh-oh. I don't even have enough energy to switch now. What are we running? Cooling system. All right. We can, uh, actually, shutting off the cooling system for too long would be kind of dangerous, but we can do it for one turn. Good job. Hit your friend. Uh, if you shut it off for too long, they'll start to overheat us if we get hit by grunts. But anyway. Um, yeah, so don't lose. Yeah, that's a good plan. The best plan is to not lose. That's the best plan of all. Uh, energy 29. No, I'm tempted to not use the launcher here, actually. They can get through the other way, though. So. Uh, I'm gonna use the launcher here. That's what I was worried about. Fine. I'll shoot the guy in the front. <laughs> <laughs> he shot down one missile. And as expected, we just lost our power. Shoot. Oh, that's why he said scatter rocket for that guy? Really? No, you were saying scatter rocket, I thought, uh, for the previous ARC. The previous ARC didn't have one. But yeah, that's that's not good. Oh, now you're blocked. What if I hit you directly and you all disappear? Alright. Okay, this is a bit of a problem because I don't have a light enough engine right now. Um, we're going to have to switch up strategies here. Ah, that's still too slow. We need a second wheel. Crap. Uh. Alright. Let's go north. Get a second wheel up here. Hunter's coming. That's not good. Just wanted about to get my second wheel. now. <laughs> 240. I'm moving toward 40. Yeah, I know we're going to northwest. That's where I was headed. But I had to get the wheel on the way. But now the wheel's gone. Like I said, this is uh, what I wanted to do. That was the engines I'm targeting. But we need... Uh, need a wheel. Otherwise, we're going to waste a lot of things getting it. First, let's, uh, boom, fill up our matter. All that stuff on the ground. Yummy, yummy matter. Then, let's see. Only had one backup wheel. Not good enough. Anyway, the whole reason actually we're going slow is because it took off, or we had to switch engines and to a heavier one, which we can't support anymore. I should probably just drop that one permanently. Because uh, we're not going to get any, we're not going to have enough support for a, a reinforced engine and our huge storage. So, yeah, it's going to be time to get rid of that permanently. I could just get rid of it now and just go with our core, core energy while we get over there. Still ends up being the same anyway. Well, no. 
yeah, it's pretty much the same even with a wheel. So it's not going to help. Gonna have to just take the hit and go. Burn alerts 4M. Anyway, nothing else coming at the moment because we took them out already. So there we go. Wait, it's still 260. Oh, well, that's because we need a second wheel, right? Alright, I can drop that, pick up that. Uh, okay. One assault force dispatched. DM! You're up. Alright, let's grab some wheels from these guys. There he is. Look at that. Like a champ. Yeah. Alright, we can now move at 170. Those jets are almost gone anyway. And it's finally happened. We're half tracking. Which is probably fine for what we're planning on doing here. All right. I wonder what our kill count is. We still haven't hit high security though. Getting close. All right, let's see. Let's uh kill this guy. Combat directions here. Wait, what? Oh, what? Please, could you hit high sec and you see how other people deal with it? Yeah, we will, we will. Don't worry. Um, they, we're not going to be able to prevent it this time. Well, we didn't really totally prevent it last time anyway, but... I mean, it's going to happen. But right now... Actually, right now it would be a good idea to be killing other bots. And there's a heavy door east, though. Also, I don't really want to get stuck somewhere. Let's see, what are we at? 4M right now. Hmm. Let me explore a little bit. Okay, there we go. Multiple assault carriers dispatched. I'm gonna get stuck somewhere. One of them was redirected, the other one probably not. Because when you redirect, he only redirects one. Hmm. Damn it, lost component data. Okay. Um. We're waiting. There he is. Oh, here comes an imp. <laughs> Guess I could have put on the rocket launcher first. Did you seriously have one left? Uh-oh. Did I do that? He does not get next to me, dude. Maybe I should have put on the cannon. <laughs> Damn it. Get away from me. Half track. Oh, yeah. I love me some half track. Micro actuators. Did they drop anything else we want? No. Except their matter. We do want their matter. Matter's good. Um, technically, we also still have the a matter filter that I'm not using yet. Um... That's actually, uh, I kind of want the optical array. Optical array is good for opening guys at the distance here, along with our cannon. Um, heavy armor, we've got two more. Yeah, should be set for this floor. Okay, 
Let's go high sack. We're going. Um, okay. Um, wait, what was I going to do? Oh, track speed. Uh, track speed. Give me the matter. Okay. Got all the matter. All your matter belongs to us. Put back on the shield generator. And we can go get some more matter. This guy is going to be busy. Multiple assault carriers. Oh, we're about to hit high sec. Okay. Uh, where are those grunts going? There better not be a back door. No, they're just walking into the room, I imagine. <laughs> One of the assaults got redirected. Mm, that's good for slowing down the pace. Don't want it to get too high, but we're going to hit a max high sec in a second, which is going to change things. All right. Um... All right, before we get into the thick of things, I'm going to take just a minute break and then we're going to hit. All right, I am back. High sec time. Yeah, there it is. The troubler. Uh, we might even walk into. The, um, yeah, so I was. I was. Uh, <clears throat> I had to step away for a moment while I. Uh, I scripted this to make sure that the uh, high security wouldn't be too brutal. All for Vectus. <laughs> Who probably insists on doing that. Um, Oh, you might even want to walk into the north room and have line of sight to the entire southeast. Oh, yeah, that 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 can be nice for uh, the main problem only there is just and when engineers start showing up and filling it in. But they, once high stack starts, that's different then, yeah. I'm probably insists. <laughs> Yeah, once it starts, though, the green bots don't have to worry about them, so. Uh, you, no, I don't think it is Vectus. They're just in that room. That's what I was worried about at first, is that there's a secret door to the southwest. All right, we're back. Uh, they just happen to be hanging out in that room, but there's there's no secret door over there, I'm pretty sure. All right, I don't even know what's... Oh, there we go. Here comes something. All righty. Uh, what kind of range do we have on our... Weight gun does not have good range. Coil gun, all right, okay, I can hit it with a coil gun. <clears throat> Open says me. That's another imp. God, I hate imps. That's the thing about point blank launching, right? Is uh, you're more likely to need to do it if there's an imp that shows up. 
Um, that's what I'm doing, MTF. Yeah, pop arcs from afar and launch at max range. Our max, our, they're outside our launch range right now. But uh, where well, we could sort of hit the edge uh, and maybe get the imp a little bit. But um, yeah, I, I popped him with the coil gun first. This guy's gonna ram right into me. Oh, this is perfect. There's only one guy that can actually hit us. All right, I'm gonna fire all our weapons then, not just the launchers. I heard it. You love to hear it. I know you love to hear it, youngster. That's right. Hi, Sec. Uh, you know what I've just noticed is our, I don't know, our prop situation is not great. Notice I, I, I put this wheel over here <laughs> earlier. I relocated the wheel in case we're gonna need it. I don't really like the idea of really staying too far away from the exit, but um, let me think. What else might we want to do here? Another option is actually to well, we need the targeting, but I was gonna say we could drop a targeting well, yeah, drop a targeting computer and a shield generator uh, for another piece of armor. That's another option, a second piece, but eh. Hmm. Pre cooling. Like targeting for scatter rockets? Oh, mm, yeah, that's true. And we're going to be using some scatter rockets here coming up. <clears throat> we used a little bit before, but not much. Um, delay is plus 100 on these. Oh, remember, we don't have scatter rocket array. We only have the regular rocket array. We actually had a chance to switch to a scatter rocket array earlier, and did not. I think it was. It turned out not. Uh, on comparison, it wasn't going to be good for our situation. Uh, oh, there's those grunts again. They're just kind of hanging out over here. <clears throat> Alright, got T100 and 652. Alright, we've got about 80 turns left. Oh, shoot, I already got spotted. Yeah. <clears throat> God damn, another one of these guys. Hey, Luigi. Mainly worried about the imp. The problem is the imp is not directly aligned with what I want to kill. <laughs> we're stealthy? Yes, we're stealthing it. Alright, well, we got the one I really wanted to kill. Yes, and then the heavy rocket launcher follows up with the extra nice hit all right um okay 145 well we disarmed him but didn't kill him which is kind of unfortunate Security, 2,000 influence at the moment. Our caves exit is sitting there waiting for us. 
And what is that over here? What have we got? In, uh, some medium armor on the ground. I don't actually need that, really. Hmm, a bunch of matter. We will need that. But I'll suck that up in a second. Vision core, we've got our spare. Segregator on the ground. And a spare wheel to the west. Oh, that's right. We have treads here, too. I'm worried about our propulsion situation, actually. Full matter again. I don't want to grab that leg. The proposition is, is you raise our time to kill. Lower our time to kill. <laughs> uh... I just mean if, if, uh, cause our prop integrity is getting rather low. Uh, we have okay coverage for it with our heavy armor, but it's still gonna get beat up. But yeah, obviously if we can kill stuff fast enough. Oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot to put on, we have launcher loader too. We can do launcher loader with a single, we can, oh, how are we gonna swap that in? Shoot, how am I gonna fit it? We did, we'd have to drop something, we'd have to pull off cooling and a shield generator. That would really help, though, to use the launcher loader. Or we could drop one of the targetings. Drop a targeting computer, and then... Uh... Oh, that's right. Well, yeah, the optical, the, the only advantage we have from the optical right now is that we can use it to get the maximum pop frame from the coil gun. Uh, that's kind of why I kept it, but you know what? It's probably going to be more valuable to have a launcher loader. So it's time to get rid of the optical array. The only good thing, well, the one reason to keep the optical array would be going into the caves. It's going to help a lot in the caves. But uh, that's one reason to keep it. We're not going to have a replacement likely for the optical array. Oh, you know what? That's right. If we get sterilization, we might have, we'll have more time to explore and see stuff. So maybe it'll work out. Um, all right, I'm going to pull out the optical array. And we're not going to use the shield generator for now. And instead, we're going to switch to launcher loader. Because things are gonna start picking up and we're gonna keep it though. Let's uh the wheel. I kinda wanna go east just to grab some extra prop to throw over here as well. Because everything we everything down here on the southeast is gonna get blown up. So if you wanna keep a part or something, you gotta like train with you. Oh, alright. <laughs> Later, Chris Sandwich. Yeah. Stay. Try and stay healthy there. Uh, I wanted to go over there and grab that matter, some extra matter, but anyway. <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna do another sterilization here, because I think we make it. The, the build is good. The strategy is sound. Yeah, we still have a tractor beam. We've been using it a lot. We just used it like, <laughs> we've been using it every 30 minutes. We just used it a second ago. That's why we're full again. Uh, but what I mean is without attaching a tractor beam, because when you t t swapping your tractor beam in and out takes 20 matters, so the only way to top up is to uh, is to pick it up off the ground to actually max our matter if there's nothing left. See, we're at 280 right now. I wanted to be at 300. If there was no enemies nearby, it makes more sense to go pick it up. But yeah, if you ever want to, if you want to actually max out, you need to, and you're using swapping. If you're not swapping, it's fine. You can just leave it on. But I'm swapping it because yeah, it is pretty vital for what we're going to be doing here. Um, all right, those programmers are probably okay. I think I'm gonna have to pop this ARC where it is right now. We have a launcher loader now. Uh, I'm gonna... Oh, that's right. I don't actually have. We don't actually see everyone anymore because we <laughs> got rid of the optical array. We have the. We have them on Farcom. can't actually pop them quite well I can still pop them at the edges but anyway there's another imp gotta love imps got the imp yes much matter but 
Um, I still want it. It's barely enough. I'd rather not get really corrupted, but I guess I'll attack these guys too. Switch weapons. Grab some of that matter real quick. Good luck stopping all this, Angel. The problem with using launchers and hiding up here to the northwest is that uh, the walls still keep falling in and blocking things. Yeah, you do blow them up again, just wastes, it, wastes, uh, it blocks the enemy, I mean it protects them. like the lack of vision from up here. Unless you get way up inside. Leaves less room for error. Oh, that's a nasty group. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, we had a friend over there for a second. tractor beam on. I was wondering how that was working. <laughs> Our tractor beam has 3% coverage. I would not want to be in this situation without a tractor beam. So in other words, I don't want to lose it. But that was fine there for a moment. Okay, that worked out well. Got his armored wheel. Um, well, this group is a pushover. Actually, I should have put on the. Uh, yeah, I actually should have used the tractor beam for the second half of that. about that later. Not this group though. Oh, 
Ouch. For you guys. In the middle of him, you get bad angles to the east wall. Mm. I think it just depends on how much it's falling down, but I think it's okay. Plus, I actually I want to be able to move out and uh, do stuff out here. These guys, I don't want to leave them outside. No, that was a mistake. Shoot. Crap. Uh, should not have fired that. I was going to not fire the rocket array. I was going to just fire my other gun against the last guy. Then I said, why not? But no, that was actually a bad idea because it took out the matter. Crap, crap, crap. That was unfortunate. <laughs> that angel was just switched. That's another thing that was, again, because they're not armed, that doesn't work in X9. It only works in X8. But the angels won't switch. It's kind of amusing. We have, technically, we have an angel on our side of the deck. It means he won't shield them, at least. <laughs> this angle's fine, MTF. There's nothing wrong with it. The enemies can only come from here and here. So it doesn't actually matter. The reason I would want to stay here is if there's anything out there that I want to interact with, we have to be closer in order to do it. Like right now, I actually want to go get those treads. I don't have any spares. Oh, I need a spare leg I could throw on, but it's not going to help. What do you mean we'll keep hitting the east wall with rockets? We're not hitting the east wall with rockets. It's fine. Still haven't hit sterilization level yet, but eh, oh, there we go. That's on me. The matter. There we go. Got the matter. But I like having some leeway to move in and out. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should be switching to matter filter. That would be smarter than, uh... Oh, actually I was using the cooling system. Do I even need a cooling system with this? What even is this doing heat-wise? Plus 45 heat. It really depends on how much they drop. Let's try actually using a matter filter instead. Cute. Yeah, I think matter filter is going to be good here. Mm, rocket arrays. Yes, rocket arrays are neat. It can be challenging to use, but definitely good. Let's drop on this leg, which is really bad.
We're actually running lower on parts right now. Energy warning. Uh oh, it's because I left both of those on. That does take energy. Okay. Wait, what's our drag? Oh, draw on that as zero regain. Okay. I have to be more careful then. Swapping in the tractor beam for just a moment. Matter's getting a little lower. That's a hundred matters sitting on the ground there. I kind of want to spend one turn to swap in uh, to, to scoop that up. It'll take a turn. I'm going to swap in the tractor beam for the filter. And then actually, I think, I don't know. Now I'm tempted to leave it on, but I almost might want to swap it right back out for the matter filter, because that'll save matter firing the continually firing the array. It's probably gonna make more sense to do that right away. I'm gonna swap that back. And then watch our trade here. Alright, I'll leave it on. Whoops. Okay, we got lots of guns. Because these guys are gonna take a while to kill, which is nice to have a filter for this. He's almost dead. Mm. Sterilization. Okay, now we need cooling. <laughs> oh, sterilizing on the floor. That worked out pretty well. Uh, didn't have too many problems, actually. Uh, that actually, yeah, worked out surprisingly well. But now we need cooling items because I don't have a whole lot of them. I do. Well, I have two cooling systems, which will last us a, a good bit. That'll last us, what, like 600 turns? And we're going to need to be faster. Right now we're slow as hell. <laughs> <laughs> we lost all of our prop. Shoot. Actually, that's a bit of a problem because we're not going to have any sources of wheels anymore. Uh, wow. This could be a bit of a... We have cooling, but we don't have time. We can't move fast, which means we might not be able to explore much. We still have to deal with all these... Right now, we're extremely slow, of course. Um, shoot. There's nothing. Hmm. This is a bit of a problem, actually. For exploration purposes, anyway. Because obviously we kind of want to take advantage of the sterilization as well to be able to do more exploring out here and get some more uh, get some more gear before we leave. Big M drone bay would be nice before going into caves. Um, yeah. Finally hit it though. Yes. All right. So 
the other thing we don't know is how many more there are because the enemies do keep coming here. We're not going to have much time to explore, uh, yeah. It's too bad. Last time, uh, on our, you should have seen our previous sterilization. I had like three cooling systems and like four heat sinks filling our utility slots because we had plenty of uh, inventory space. So I was able to ex full explore everything else, grab everything I needed, and then left. Uh, like, explored everything. It was awesome. I just want to make sure there's no more assaults coming. But, yeah, it was pretty neat to have that many. I think, I wonder if we're okay. Um, I think we're, we might be okay with our current position. There won't be enemies coming for us. Also, I'd like to kill this guy over here. Maybe he'll drop something. Because that was definitely not the case last time. When we tried to sterilize last time, um, it was pretty bad. We got hit by a ton of assaults after the sterilization started. Oh, well, it looks like there's an exit to our east, which means there's lots of bots to our east. What's that heavy doing? Oh god, he's coming over here! <laughs> oh, that's amusing. Shoot. Oh, I have, at least I have a wheel in my inventory, but look at that. We're about to lose all of our propulsion. All right, one second. leaving now. <laughs> okay, I was getting all ready to fight him. I, I, was, I was actually kind of hoping he'd come over here just so I could kill him, because he can't, he can't get uh, support anymore. Huh. I wouldn't have minded if he came over here so I could take his treads and stuff, or try to anyway. We would have to get lucky and kill him before ruining all the salvage. But... That's too bad. All right, well, we can now switch on... Is the wheel going to make it faster? A little bit faster. Do you not want to lose this wheel, though? It's like our emergency wheel. There must be an exit over here. Let the fun begin. Oh, you know what would be nice is if we could just luck upon some propulsion. That would be nice. Um. Yeah. Uh, last time we had a lot of fun with that. Machines blowing up all over the place. Focal shield is kind of nice. Heavy phase cannon. Time to loot. This is, an, this is a regular exit. Uh, it looks like we don't have to deal with more assaults. So last time there was multiple assaults still coming in long after the sterilization started. It was pretty annoying. Speed is 290. Oh, great. Here we go. Ambient heat. We do not have a lot of leeway here. Actually, I should probably take off the rocket array before it misfires into something. Well, I don't even have to replace it with anything. Just do that. Actually, we, what else could we drop? Oh, we can. Uh, I won't speed us up though much. Oh, we can speed us up a little bit. It's, well, now that we don't need the armor on, 260. We can speed ourselves up a bit here by putting on light things and putting our armor away. Uh, like our cooling systems, we're gonna need those. And then we can put off, pull off the armor. We're down down to 245. 
And um, yeah, we got weight wise. We can pull off our uh, cannon and check our mass readout here. Um, we're gonna need to keep our power. It's mainly the huge storage units, almost everything. We can get some prop in caves. I mean, sort of. It's not not guaranteed. Actually, it's pretty dangerous. I'm mainly thinking of prop. I was mainly thinking of prop in terms of being able to better explore this area, but. Yeah, that actually has me worried, like, prop for caves. Uh, anyway, uh, phase cannon, let's uh, put that in our inventory. We can drop, we can either swap or drop something. We can drop, uh, we'll drop that. our mini assault cannon. I've been liking that, but it's really beat up now. I think we'll drop that, finally. And then also drop our phase cannon and pull it off anyway. And there we go. Now we're at 230 speed, which is much more reasonable. <laughs> the nice thing about sterilization is you don't need Trojan mass to protect your stockpiles anymore. Ye yeah, and they'll just melt, right? Eventually. It's fine between Samaritans and recyclers. Eh, usually. Usually. The main thing is, you know, you, you get to worry about finding enemies first, right? Here's a field propulsion drive. There's some propulsion. <laughs> All right, we currently have... Yeah, fairly good cooling. We'll, we'll be okay. Advanced shield generator. That one is 1 to 4 ratio. Alright. I like it. Which is that one away? Mass 5. Yeah, advanced shield generator, good. Here's another exit. And a matter filter. Analyzer and another leg. There's a behemoth to the southeast. Is he stuck? What are you doing? He's stuck. There's a behemoth who's stuck. Wait. Oh. You could loot him. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't exactly call them free treads. I mean, it's only free treads if the. Uh, we don't have to fight him. <laughs> but he's stuck. He can't path to an exit, which means he's just sitting here. <laughs> Light armor. Actually, you know what? The behemoth's going to take a while to overheat because he has injectors. Wait a minute. We could take his injectors. Hmm. I'd have to rebuild specifically to fight the behemoth. Or it'd be, it'd be dangerous to do otherwise. It could take the stairs. He just can't reach them, though. There must be no stairs accessible to him. So wait, I could make, I could allow him to move. If we destroyed, uh, if I destroyed this wall here, that behemoth would probably be able to leave. Uh, well, as long as we might have to destroy one of these now too. But yeah, he's he's blocked off from the exit. He might get an exit later, but anyway, that's. Uh, hmm. All right, we're currently at ambient plus 20. And we have to remember, we have to make it all the way back over to there. Currently have 230 turns. One of the bad things that could happen is we, uh, we accidentally lose our prop or something nasty happens. That's a lot of titanium legs. 20 support each. Well, we have prop now. It's not going to be able to support our build, but it's it's prop. What do we get with our when we're overweight with these things? Two hundred. Oh wait, that's actually faster. Wait a minute. All right, we can we don't need the wheel anymore then. Oh, some of these got a little damaged. Speed is it? Speed's very relevant when you're running from sterilization. <laughs> um. Okay. Let me see here. Let's get rid of this wheel then. I want to put it in my inventory though, just in case. I don't think I want to leave this wheel around. Let's uh, let's see. We're gonna be overweight no matter what, so we can now attach something else. Just some. We'll just throw on uh, focal shield, and now we can put the wheel away. And uh, wait, and grab uh, grab this leg. Well, actually, we could technically just grab another leg as spare. I wouldn't shouldn't need the wheel anymore. It's, it'll be slower, so actually, yeah, I don't need the wheel anymore. Let's just take the leg. 
Sorry, sorry. Sorry, Jack Nine, we, we left the wheel too. Yeah. It's if it was an armored wheel, we would reconsider. <laughs> Our energy is a net negative. Okay, yeah, I don't need all that stuff running anyway. We do need these running. We have to have enough energy to constantly run our cooling systems. Um We're at only at plus two when we move with these. Got to be careful of that. Otherwise, because if we can't run and gain energy at the same time, then we're getting into danger territory. We can actually shut these off, though. We don't actually need this many legs on. We only need three of them. Okay. Anyway, got to be careful. Yeah, I think we can safely leave the wheel, right? Now that we've got a ridiculous number of legs, even if you lose a leg, repair it, or replace it. I mean, we'll get to re we'll get a new get new wheels later. Better wheels. All right, what's over here? Of course, you go light armor. I'm gonna. The problem is, I'm gonna get further away from the exits. There's there might be only two upper caves exits on this floor. There probably is, which means we already know where they are. And any exploring we do now is taking us further away from where we want to go. But considering our current heat. We should be good, unless something goes wrong, like the, an unforeseen walking through a wall and then losing a bunch of stuff or something, I don't know. Uh, we don't care about the behemoth anymore, then. Oh, bomb. Another plus 10. All right, I think it was 150, right? Yeah, all right, so it goes up by 10 every 150, so you can always count the number of turns we have left. We have, uh, safely, we have, uh, um, we have 750 turns before we have to be at the exit. 750, and we're currently at, so that puts us at 5, at turn 50, 56, uh, no wait, yeah, 750, right, so 56, uh, 500. Oh, yeah, that's true, youngster. Put a put a, a map note for the behemoth for when it melts down. That's true. I wonder how long it'll last. We're, we might head back that way anyway. I know where he is. He's up here. Oh, I get stuck in a stasis trap right now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I found a garrison. Um, could get couplers, maybe. Mo alert doesn't matter anymore. but we'd have to risk angering the behemoth, which right now, actually, we could be in serious danger if the behemoth messes us up in some nasty way. Hey, do I have any weapon that can destroy this thing? We do. Probably heavy phase cannon. Didn't drop anything. Alright, uh, we're still underway with the phase cannon, so I need to leave that on. I'll go to another room. Disruptor cannon, heavy mace, uh, medium treads to the north. Improved medium treads, those are actually pretty good. It's only one of them. Mm. We want heavy treads, which we'll start getting later. We have 11, wait, wait, we have 600 turns left? All right, well, we got prop. We're gonna have to start circling back now. mainly because I'd be worried. But yeah, we can circle back through here. Yeah, we don't want to get too greedy. <laughs> I normally cut these really close. <laughs> uh, anything else I want out of here? No. We can circle back through this area. This is a new area. Advanced shield generator again. Anyway, I'm happy that we got the, the legs anyway. And the cave penetrator, sure. Ooh. I, 
wanted to check out what's in that room, but I do not want to get hit with an ambush trap right now. We don't have a build, and that could really mess us up. Yeah, the legs pick up pickup was awesome. Ambush trap is good. No, it's not. Why is ambush trap good? It gives you prop, but I don't need prop anymore. <laughs> or guns. I don't need prop or guns. We have guns and prop. They melt immediately. Uh, that's true. That would be kind of funny to see them pop out and then melt immediately. They're not going to melt quite that fast. We're only at plus 50 right now. Uh, yeah. Yeah, and it's fun. <laughs> okay. All right. You want me to go open the ambush trap? To do it safely, I'm going to have to put on at least a piece of armor, probably. All right. Um, one second. We don't need a shield gem anymore. Let me just drop that permanently. <laughs> How many turns do we have left? Oh, we still got more turns. We got 30. Uh, we need to, yeah, we're close to the exit now, so we're not in bad shape. Oop, there's another one. Oop, there's another one. All right, all right, all right. We're gonna do this. I'm gonna pull off uh, the uh, shield generator. I'm gonna put on one piece of armor before doing this. A completely unnecessary thing. <laughs> Oh, there you go, Vector. There you go. You're waiting for the the drop out. You're waiting for someone's gonna drop out and hit my cooling system with a hammer. <laughs> Just watch this beautiful build go away like that. All right, let's um. Let me see. I need to attach another weapon too. Also, we're getting more overweight, but that's fine. I'm doing it intentionally, and I'm doing it before I step into the room in case there's another ambush trap right there. Actually running kind of low on matter too, so I'm gonna put that on. I'm gonna drop our other compressor. Wait a moment, pick it back up, and we're full on matter. Here we go. All right, I'm walking over here. <laughs> Getting all worried. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I've brought you into this exciting world. <laughs> All right, um... <laughs> At least them into a hellscape, for sure. They're all gonna melt now. Uh, they're cool at the moment, though. They haven't they haven't started overheating yet. Uh, what are you guys gonna do? You gonna start overheating? He's getting hot. Uh-oh, here they go. Core damage. watch myself here too. Oh, the guy to the southeast just lost. He's, he's permanently disabled. What's up this guy? Critical heat. And I guess all of his legs overheated too. We don't need their stuff. The beam casters are actually pretty cool. But anyway, these guys are all gonna die now. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, we can pick up their matter. Hey, you got matter too. You guys have matter? Wait, are you still alive, man? Give me your matter. Thank you. <laughs> uh, matter starts. <laughs> All right, that worked out. Okay, I need to pay attention to my heat again. We've got uh, 300 total turns left. Yeah, one off a turn 20. All right, we just got a few hundred turns here. So uh, we're pretty much done. Okay, we can leave now. Wait, done. Oh, I didn't drop that before. That was my earlier wave gun. No, I can get rid of this coil gun, actually. Even though we have extra space, I could easily just fill inventory slots, but... Phase shifter. I could take a phase shifter. Not that we can power it, but... They're fine now. Oh. Um... There's also an advanced targeting computer to the south. We can have a third one. Just to make sure we don't miss. Although, really, we're going to be throwing on armor soon. Oh, no, we're not. It depends. Actually, a bit of a problem, because we are overweight. Using this huge storage with, uh... We're overweight no matter what. Which is going to be kind of problematic. Two hundred speed is fine? Yeah, it's okay. 
Actually, though, wasn't it improved even better in, uh, isn't it? Is it 180 in, in X9? Or was that only treads that were improved to 240? Because, yeah, I think I think it's improved down to 180, isn't it? That would be that would be kind of nice. Both were improved? Yeah. Yeah, it was probably 180 then, because I'm still in X8. X9 actually made it so that overweight, uh, pro overweight uh, combat prop is definitely, it's still slow, but it's more likely you'll want to do it now. So, you know, treads were up to uh, 240 instead of 260. I'm thinking legs went to 180, but I don't remember the number. Anyway, okay, I think we're I think we're done here. I'm gonna go for a phase shifter. Do I want to pick that up or not? No. Yeah, 240 treads is is, is worth it, but yeah, it's, it's it's definitely slower. It's you know it's a uh, it depends on how good your build is. There's times you would definitely want to do it. 260 though is kind of a little over the edge there. All right, so let's let's put on some armor, I guess. Before stepping into this next area. Wait a minute. Wait, what? Did I just leave my armor on the ground? Or did I just not? Never move. I just never mind. Or didn't leave it on the ground. Okay. I just forgot to sort my inventory. I normally sort keep my inventory sorted. Alright. That puts us up at 270, but I don't plan on leaving it on necessarily. What? You realize you're on pace with a patron high score, right? I don't think so. I'm not doing a lot of high security kills, really. I don't think my score is that high. I mean... I don't think so, anyway. Alright, let's see what, what we've got here. I don't know what's at this depth. We don't have any idea what that's at. 100k? No, there's no way we're over 100k. Like I said, my previous sterilization uh, were both done without using high security. Well, this was the definitely by far the most high security I've used. Which, uh, even then, it was only a little bit. Dump score and find out. We can do a dump at the end, yeah. Hey, Senjai! Yeah, long time no see. Welcome to our sterilization stream, which is probably coming close to the end here. But, uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll, I'll play through some caves first, anyway. We're not going to start on the next big one, but... Oh, basically it's like one sterilization <laughs> per week. <laughs> Uh, and I was here when I'm thinking it's like going to get even harder and harder. We get Tesla bombs. Now we can build for that. And it's just, wow. Rocket rays, Tesla bombs, so much stuff. And launcher loader. Oh, which apparently got hit during all that. But not too surprising considering we had no armor. All right. Um, oh, we can also take off. We don't need two cooling systems anymore. Uh, we can swap one out for like... Uh, generator I guess yeah mm -hmm. oh yeah we don't need to be that overweight there we go <laughs> now we're at 200 again I forgot to turn those on this is the cooldown part of the stream yeah yeah we're now we're on cooldown it was it was the big heat up and now we're on the big cooldown alrighty here's some guys who would like to donate their propulsion, but I'm okay with being overweight on legs. Wait a minute, I have extra inventory space though. Well, that's a good way to run out of energy. What else am I running? Cooling system focus and shield generator, huh? Yeah. Can't run all these. Gonna need to uh, switch one of the weapons over to kinetics, but actually, I don't think we have any more kinetics left. I've been dropping those gradually because I didn't get as good of ones. Now we've mostly got thermal weapons. KE penetrators are last kinetic. Hmm. Well, don't need some matter. 5% corruption. Whoa. That looks very squarish. <laughs> that might be an outpost. Not 100%, but. Yes, it is a surprisingly green build, Vectis. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the base. Ah, shoot. Well. Focal shield, yes. Uh, shield generator is not gonna last long, but I think I'll leave it on for one volley.
two volleys, three volleys, and he's dead anyway. Yes. Why is there only one of them? What is that guy? Take his light vision core. Not because I wanted to actually use it, but just because it's a part. It's free. Put back on our own vision core. Energy low. Alright, turn those things off. What was up with only one hunter? Did one of them die somehow? There's a warden down there. Hmm. Oh, so that's what it is. You can... Alright, I guess we don't want to mess with that then. Small matter pod? No. Ooh, we're back up to full matter again. Derelict log. Gotta love the logs. Okay, well, told us where the exit is, which I could have found that myself, but <laughs> it could have been something. They can't all be good. Oh, shoot. Armored medium treads. Hmm. Well, look at that. Giant field of traps. People are going to love these later. With the new trap extractors. Ammo. A lot of heat flow. Everything's going on. Um, hmm. Bye. He can't make it through there. He might be able to make it around a different way, though. Like up here? Uh, maybe. It's hard to say. He just went through the traps. How did he get through there? Can he, oh, he can't move through there, huh? He just got hit by the traps in the field. Nice. <laughs> matter filter. Actually, speaking of matter filter, do you still have that precision matter filter? Oh, I mean, oh, I don't have precision. I just have a regular matter filter. Even just that alone is good. Cloaking device. Cloaking device, neat. Oh, what is it? There's like hidden stuff back here. Look at this. Dispersion rifle, advanced target analyzer. Huh. Okay, we'll take the dispersion rifle. And then head up here, which might not be the way forward, but... Oh, just exploring around. Particle charger and bots to salvage here. I don't think I actually need anything from any of these bots, though. Looks like we have to go south. Yeah, exist down there. Might need to pass by that behemoth, if he's still around. Here's the whole place that got it blown up. All right, never mind. It looks like we can pass by them here this way. Oh, wait a minute. Dead guys. Dead guys means enemies, potentially. Dead end over here. Oh, man, it is really on the other side of the behemoth. <laughs> anyway. That's OK. We will find another path. right past him. There we go. I guess that log was uh, somewhat helpful. All right. Uh, crazy Spider-Tron? Yes, that's pretty much what we are right now. Uh, all right. Actually, we did a free turn going in, so we should need that. Leave the armor. Oh, we still have the armor on. That's right. Armor on. Shields, yeah, this is build's doing pretty good right now. I can't wait till I actually get my uh, heavy treads, though. I'm really glad we got the heavy treads that we did going through the uh, shoots earlier. That really made it a lot easier to do sterilization early on. But it'll be much easier to come by later. Hopefully, a nice floor can shoot after sterilization. Uh, well, I mean, you can also shoot before sterilization <laughs> to get the treads first.
Nope, that's not what I wanted to shoot. That's more like it. Stereo but before and after shoot, I see what you mean. Yeah, well, yeah, I don't know about double sterilization. Basically, sterilization takes so long, but I'm kind of thinking I uh, would like to not necessarily sterilize as much as is technically possible. If only because I'm going to have to play the new... I'm going to want to play the new build, too. Mini drone bay. Hmm. That could help over in proxy. Uh, mag cannon. Don't really need that, though. Let's see. Oh, alright. We've got an extra light vision. Drop that. Grab these guys. Check the terminal. Outpost terminal. Boom. Owned by Warlord Elite. Goodbye. Well, Warlord's been here. Well, Warlord friends. What's this one? War sis. Alright, we should be okay. Railgun? Yes. Advanced Armor Integrity Analyzer. Hmm. Hmm. Railgun, definitely, yes. Um. No. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't think I really want to take it that far for score. Um. Let me check what I got here to replace. Certainly a good way to rack up score, though. Uh, trying to want to go back to treads, which is why I'm keeping the armor and medium for that, and the titanium is for if you want to lose one of our current legs. Got a spare cooling system, because it's nice to have cooling. Drop one of the cannons, probably. Yeah, we don't need three thermal cannons. Let's uh, take the heavy phase cannon, take the rail gun instead. <laughs> no, <laughs> hard, hard game, you think, Senjai? Mm, it's actually been getting easier over the years, but it'll get harder again with beta 11. But there's also a ton of new toys to work with. Lots and lots of new toys. Plus, you know, there's different difficulty modes. If you hadn't, if you were last time you were playing was before that was added. If you're interested at all in doing that, certainly not. That. Everyone is. That's right. We need to matter. Could use the tractor beam, but then I'd have to take it off again. Oh, okay. That's good enough anyway. Oh, shoot. Oh, it's a small group. Never mind. That was gone. Have the duality of not being good enough for the game and refusing to lower difficulty out of pride. Eh, mm, less patient. Ah, uh, yeah. Sometimes uh, patience certainly does help. Um, if you try and play quickly, yeah, you'll be more likely to lose. But really, that's the case in all roguelikes, pretty much. Pretty typical thing, because you know it's turn-based. There's so many options available, and that some of them are definitely going to be better than others. Uh, and you know, the longer you think about it, the more likely you are to figure out the best plan of action, you know? Get our energy back here. But yeah, they're, uh, you know, that generally kills a lot of people in roguelikes, uh, just playing too quickly. Like, yeah, even this run right now, I mean, I've been playing it quite slowly, which is why it's been able to make it this far without too much trouble along the way. Uh, otherwise, there were a lot of places this could have gone wrong. Less so this, less so today, 
Um, I mean, well, really, anytime you're playing too fast, but I mean, less so today than compared to previously, where uh, had a lot more dangerous situations. Oh, lovely. Oh, good job. Boom, gotcha. <laughs> and they're all dead. And I get the derelict log I wanted. Factory emergency access points. That's the whole reason I went up there was for that, because I already know where the exit is we're going to take, it's over here. But eh, exploring a little. Eh, that's enough exploring. We can't get more stuff by exploring more in the caves. I have to keep our build in check for now, but grab this matter and we call Nova Flare. Where are we? Warlord! <laughs> Vectus, don't tell people weird stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, we are now at Warlord's base, but we can't enter it. If we enter it, we'll be attacked because we have Riff. So, goodbye, Warlord. We're going to just have to leave. I would have preferred if it was the other guy. We're not going to attack Warlord. I'm not even... Well, I don't know. I was going to say, I don't even have an attack Warlord build, but to be honest, actually... We have a really powerful build. I mean, in terms of just the fact that we have tons of matter and tons of rocket arrays, we could pr we could take out most of Warlord's base probably. We wouldn't be able to finish off Warlord though. I wouldn't think. I've never actually attacked Warlord before though, even though that is technically something you need to do for an achievement. Although the most most the way most people get that achievement is you know more of a you know you go and you it's more of an assassination <laughs> an assassination assassination and then escape uh, rather than a frontal assault and <laughs> killing everything <laughs> you start from the inside rather you know, I, it'd be interesting if people did it from the outside but no we're not going to attack warlord we're totally not really ready to attack warlord Is the achievement called Inside Job? No, it's actually called Traitor. <laughs> Which is similar, right? But yeah, there's nothing else we can actually do here. Just clear corruption on the gate. Oh, that's an interesting idea. Oh, wait a minute. Clear corruption on the gate. Uh, yeah, bury yourself in a wall and wait for M main C to do the heavy lifting. Right. Uh, wait. Does it clear the corruption? You know, I don't actually know because I've never done this before. I don't even normally stay here on Riff. Does it clear the corruption before the trigger or not? So, you know, something tells me you're trying to bait me into getting tacked. <laughs> just do it. <laughs> Maybe just do it. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember where it is. I think it's it's after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has to be after. Logically. Here we go. There we go. See? It's after. All right. The reason it's after is because it's supposed to be part of that scan. Is Right after the scan is when they know. And so, yeah, that's the reason. I remembered it, the logic afterwards. Uh, but technically, even if they don't scan you, if you know people try to dig through the walls, it still gets you. Because otherwise, that uh, messes up a bunch of stuff. Oh, I mean, we could technically, they could find, they, it's considered they find you once you're in the base anyway. But, yeah. It's the other side, other way. This seems like cheese. It's not cheese. They scan and you run away. It's perfectly fine. That's true. There's there's doors there. It's not like Zion where they're outside. That's true. They would come rushing out. All right. Anyway, gonna head back out through proxy caves. We're gonna put on our drones because I wouldn't want to use them in the actual complex. But. They're great for the caves. Go, drone, go. Oh, hello. <laughs> They're not going to come, are they? I was so waiting for them to come around the corner. Well, there's an outpost down here. Whew. Hmm. That could actually be bad, huh? <laughs> 
boom, ricochet off the wall and everyone's dead. Not really a ricochet, but... Anyway, uh... Actually, outposts are making me think <laughs> that I don't want to release the drones here. <laughs> They're just gonna wake up an outpost. Well, yeah, it doesn't really matter, the outpost... It's probably fine. It's more fun anyway. Uh, I think it'll be okay. But yeah, they're gonna wake up an outpost. Watch this. Oh, that's a big outpost too. No what? What do you mean no? <laughs> I mean, it's okay. That's what I mean. Imagine bouncing rockets to make bangs once they're on corners. <laughs> Found a derelict log. Found a behemoth. I'm gonna leave the other drone over there. More armored medium treads. Hmm. There's a lot of integrity left on those too. Corruption screen. Old corruption screen, not new corruption screen. Um, hmm. Alright, I guess I can I'm gonna drop this little this titanium leg. Replace it with treads because we're going to want to go on treads eventually. Hmm. Shoot, we got to pass by that behemoth. Uh, no, actually, we could go through the corner over there. Might be able to get by right here. every time sitting right next to that scrap pile another rail gun wow found in the scrap nice also wait a minute a matter neutralizer hmm. starting to get into some more powerful gear here finally we have one spare advanced plasma cannon Spare barrel gun and KE penetrator. This is beat up though. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't have this attached. <laughs> Need to take off the rocket launcher. Mm. 121 left on that. Wait anyway. All right. Um, there's the exit. Hmm. Oh, that's right. We're slow. Uh, we can't outrun them. <laughs> that's good enough for me. I left the other drone over there. I didn't call, recall him. I was actually gonna wait until explored more and then let the drone go find the uh, find the outpost. A uh, little late. I wanted to let him find the outpost. All right, so one, yeah, I think the same thing, MTF. That was what I was planning when we came in here. I think we need a power and a propulsion. We need power because we have Tesla now, and we're we're getting into the end game. And you just there's just generally a strong need for more power than we can get from a single power source. I normally would have sick the second power source by the second half of the game, either before this depth or at this depth. And propulsion-wise, we want to be able to fit a third uh, heavy treads on. Uh, we don't need an odd number anymore. And utilities, we have enough of, and we don't need to 
Yeah, I've been having trouble filling them anyway because we don't have the resources and, and we don't have the power of propulsion to support more utilities. So, yeah, this would be the play here. Now we're going to be able to up our up both our power and our support. So we can now, well, I can't throw on, I threw away the leg, so I don't have a leg to put on. You can throw on treads if you want to, but I'll just throw on the power source here. Our second core, we found the hidden doors. And it's time to start yet a new factory floor. This overall, this build is in great shape. And this whole, the run overall, I've sterilized every main floor. Although, I mean, all of the factory floors. This is the last factory floor, uh, after which it would probably become, uh, well, we'll see what happens. But anyway, <laughs> yep, we've got some intel there. So yeah, first order of business. When we get back, we'll be to do uh, yeah, remote data jack and see if there's a shoot out there. Been carrying that thing around forever. Probably didn't need to carry it around all this time because there's always programmers out there. But I guess part of the reason I wanted to always have a data jack is because we technically have Rift and we can find NC couplers at any point, which we might want to use. So anyway, so yeah, that's going to be the end of the run part today. Um, Actually, let's do a really quick dev thing. Yeah, it was fun. I'm glad you got to show up for one MTF. This ended up being more killing than the other one. Well, more uh, more high security stuff. Really quick XCOM stream? No, we're gonna start. XCOM needs to be it's definitely a whole thing of its own. We could do multiple XCOM streams in the first one. We'd want them to definitely be full streams. That's not a quick thing either, especially the first time. But anyway, um, we will do that, but let me, I'm gonna, Let's see, shut that off, um, one second, give you a Zion Yaller while we're saving and getting ready. Oh, I forgot to do a dump. Oh, never mind. We don't need to do, oh, he's going to do score dump rather than, that's right. I was thinking we didn't need to do dump because I was we didn't need to check kills. But I forgot we wanted to check score, but oh, well, whatever. I can check actually um, one second here. Uh, we can see what it was last time, not this time. Last time we had fewer, but it'll, uh, or is it under a uh, last dump? We dumped, there it is, 20K. We were a scavenger tank. This was from the last one. We already got... Uh, this is from killing all those allies in the... Uh, we lost 5k for killing allies coming out of shoots. Uh, before coming out... Oh, no. Actually, the total loss from friendly fire... Oh, that's right. The friendly fire loss is 10k. So, see, we didn't do good because of that. Um, we actually would have 30k if I hadn't killed all our friends twice. Uh, this, and again, this was also, you know, didn't include this, the, it didn't include this week. Yeah. 10 K <laughs> lost over 10,000 because we kept getting a ton of allies and I didn't want them because they were going to totally spike our alert and we needed to keep alert at an absolute minimum. So yeah, I just killed them all, which is something I've never normally do. That's like the first time I've done that. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we would have had 30 K and that, I, and that was again, without the current depth, which got us even more score. You good. As you can tell, we didn't get a whole lot of high alert kill score right here. We've only got 5k high alert combat so far because we did very little of that. Kept alert low for a long time, but anyway. Yeah, I guess Ronnie was never the same since that fateful day. <laughs> so, it's not, yeah, it's not a great, uh, not really a great score because of that. But we didn't get any more friendly, too many more friendly fire negative points. To, we didn't get many more today. And uh, so the score, I'm sure, went up a good bit. But we're not going to be able to make a ridiculous... Even if we keep going, it's not going to make a like 100K or whatever. I doubt. Unless like we start going straight for high security with Tesla bombs and just annihilating everything. That could do it. But um, yeah, that's we could try that. If just in the interest of ending it earlier. But just in case. Uh, so anyway, yeah, that was a dump earlier on, and was that at the end, or I don't know when that was. I'd have to look at the actual timing of that one, but this is what we had. Yeah, this was during the last stream. We even had oh, our peak state with had a gravity neutralizing apparatus. <laughs> but yeah, we got this whole thing of rocket arrays way off early on. 
Okay, so yeah, that was that. What I wanted to do, really just a quick thing, uh, is let flight players look at the chart that I made for flight. You made me do it. I actually went in and made a flight chart. Um, let me see, where did I put that data? Hmm. Here we go, airborne. This is the Beta X9 airborne chart that I made. So yeah, font is small as usual. I can make it bigger for you, but then personally I find it harder to read that way. Um, I get slightly bigger there. Then you can't see everything though. It's nice with this way. You can see almost everything on one page. So this is the, the airborne chart, not just flight, but airborne. I was looking at the airborne stats and what matters uh, most, your support for speed. And I was going through, cause you know, they te technically remember on beta 11, we're going back through all the parts again. And um, one of the big, uh, you know, but I already did propulsion as a very early part of that because we were working on the overweight thing, and I went back through and rechecked all the uh, all the different prop stats, and it's in particular with flight and hover, both were redone because we added decimals. The only place in Cogmind where decimals are an actual stat number, you know, these got reduced to decimals, which changed a lot of the mechanic. Or I think it changed a lot of the dynamic, not mechanic, um, of using them. It really made it. Uh, uh, it made the progression work better, I think, overall. And so in, in doing that, though, you know, I had to revisit all the other stats and make sure that they were, they were where I wanted them to be. And in looking at this, especially, you know, you can see this nice pretty uh, progression here. I did go back through and look at comparisons between numbers of, uh, you know, the differences between the same, the same thing I talked about in my previous dev streams where I was, you, know, you compare rating versus rating, you know, up and down, you compare prototypes, you compare different tech types, and it, it looked pretty good. I didn't really see anything else I wanted to change, so I didn't make any changes. The decimal changes in, were really helped a lot, though. Yeah, it was it was really helpful and made it made it more interesting, but I didn't see anything else that, yeah, the nice red on the surge thruster, it stands out, but um, yeah, the surge thrusters are an exception, of course, to, to all of this. Um, normally, what I would have done if I was going to spend longer is actually highlight those uh, with a, a separate background color for their row just to show that they're a very different thing but um, I didn't really spend much more time with this I just did basic highlighting to check out the stats and I didn't really see anything else that I was going to change uh, for this but because everything you know everything has its advantages and disadvantages and what, what was interesting however I didn't go into the details of it but you know uh, part of the reason that I wanted to go back and make this chart at all was people were talking about how some of you know sometimes you want to keep the low some low end thrusters like I don't know was it improved VTOL or something and you keep them even into you know through the whole middle game through the through the whole mid game you don't want to upgrade to any of this other stuff and so I was wondering you know from flight pairs which ones are those and why like is, if is that true too uh, I think oh, Emika's not here today otherwise they'd probably have some input. Um, But makeshift flight nation where you at? Uh anyway, while well, I'll waiting for anyone to weigh in there, we'll give these a slight little highlight. I wanted a super light highlight though. Whitish, there we go. They're a little different. They want to be too different. All right, so uh, Vector says improved VTOL to diamet. Uh, so improved VTOL here to diametric drive is your see all the way there. You're skipping everything in the middle, straight from here to here. You're saying why would that be? What? <laughs> I mean. Why wouldn't you want to use anything from all these in here? Is it because of upkeep? So here we've got five support per improved VTOL. This goes up to seven. Biomex, it's, I mean, why wouldn't you want Biomex? Biomex are clearly better than improved VTOL, right? Uh, the only difference in cooled cesium is also better in terms of support. 
And uh, the main thing there is the energy upkeep. Mm -hmm. oh, I see what you mean. You say you you need either no mass or mu as much support as you can get. No, maybe. okay. Well, that's part of the other thing too. Is you know, it's people saying that they transition from certain things to other things. It depends on what kinds of builds you're running too. Like in the early game, maybe people are looking purely for you don't care as much about the support. You're doing it for the speed and the low energy cost. At which point you're avoiding everything anyway, and you're building with just processors and you know as light as possible, right? In which case that makes sense. But if you needed any extra support, then you would probably welcome upgrades in the middle also there's mixing right i mean how many how many flight builds out there are mixing like improved vtol and other stuff as they're upgrading or are they going literally you'll just stay with pure all improved vtol and you're not mixing in anything else because mixing is another thing too it's true as luigi says it's it's highly nuanced it, it can depend yeah building with process and info war right and light armor so that stuff's light anyway so you want as low of cost as possible, and one or two extra support, mass, extra mass there isn't going to matter as much. Right, exactly. That's that's what I was that's what I was referring to there, Vectus. Yeah, the only reason a uh, flight will care about support is put in storage for research brands. And so before that point, before this late game area, you don't care enough about support because the main thing you need support for is storage okay that makes sense yeah yeah i can see that then anyway i was just wondering if it was something more inherent to flight progression or comparison stuff but yeah build wise then it doesn't really make up as much of a difference um because i mean it, it is not going to involve anything that i'm going to actually change that that's that's the conclusion i came to uh after I made this chart, I looked at it, I made the, put the chart together and looked at it for a little while and said, yeah, everything's pretty much where I want it. Right, and that's what I, that's what I, I don't know if you're referring to me, Vectis, but yeah, that's what I was talking about, right? The nature of the game changing down here, right? Still think arrays are too slow for the support? Uh, arrays are too slow. Actually, yeah, I didn't put uh, wait energy upkeep. I should also highlight speed a little bit. That would be helpful here. Let me see. Maybe the color scale would help. Got to pick one that'll work a little better for us here. It makes things. Something with a, a higher contrast. Uh, I'd prefer to make my own, but that takes longer. So I'll just use one of theirs. Let me see. This is probably a good one for this. Yeah, that's a good color scale. All right, I'll actually save that in there. All right, so now we have a new color scale here where we can see in a little more clearly the different speeds here. Um, let me see what Chad is saying here. All right, so yeah, you can see, oh, there's actually only a few arrays down here, right? I highlighted those separately too. Uh, I highlighted anything with the multiple, uh, that requires multiple slots, which are all arrays. And um, there's not really much, uh, let me see, it's not a prototype though. What is, uh, what software is this? It's, uh, yeah, this is a uh, old version of Excel, over a decade old. That's me. <laughs> um, so what did, what did you say earlier? You're saying uh, arrays are far too slow for the support? They're not much slower than regular flight though. I don't know what you mean, they're than non-arrays. Non they're almost, a, they're just a little, the only difference is, I mean, like literally this one's identical speed at the same depth for a non-prototype. This one is actually a little faster. Oh, well, there, there's also the fact that, yeah, if you have two separate slots, right, the mod will change it by a slightly uh, further amount uh, if you have multiple, but... Mm,
field propulsion array. Hmm. Actually, I am wondering about the array support in here. <laughs> Vectus telling Rooney how to print this spreadsheet. Yeah, like on a 3D printer. <laughs> you can uh, you can print it as the colors on a flight bot. <laughs> but um, yeah, right. So that's the speed difference. There's the fact that yeah, that is a different consideration when you have multi-slot uh, flight units. Is that they also have the de the drawback of that. Their speed is uh, not increased, not or yeah, not increased further by having two different ones. That's true. Now, what I was wondering is actually why the arrays in particular, the values like nuclear pulse. I didn't get this far in my comparisons earlier. Yeah, so this the way it did for this one is for nuclear pulse, it adds uh, double support plus one. But technically, if you compare that to the same rating, it doesn't compare favorably. I guess the other difference is also integrity. You do get a bonus to integrity. But so we have an integrity bonus, but not a support, not much of a support bonus, not certainly when compared to same ratings. Uh, I, I know like for like this was com being compared to this, I'm pretty sure, when it was designed. Um, in fact, I know it was. Uh, but yeah, I didn't go back. When I, again, I didn't actually finish the flight. I was mainly looking at these values and comparing this stuff. And uh, I didn't spend too long on it because I know I'd already spent a lot of time balancing and working at flight units. But yeah, I can see how this could, the arrays in particular, could be adjusted. And this one here, for example, field propulsion array, here's the drive it's compared to. 7 times 2 plus 1 is 15. That's following the same formula. Impulse thruster array is... Got an egg gut plus two. Yeah, I remember actually doing that math too. That was seven times two plus two because it's toward the late game, so it got an extra plus one. But that's where these numbers came from. But when you compare them back to the numbers here, yeah, I'm gonna have to redo arrays a little bit. They might get a tiny bit of extra storage. I mean support, not storage. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, uh, I'll have to look at that then in particular. Um, We'll have to look at those numbers and think about what to do about that. Um, uh, the arrays can only lift through one to two heavy shots. Yeah, uh, if if one, <laughs> that's the, that's really beside the point though. Flight isn't meant to do that. That's that doesn't really matter. Um, quick, open up the Garrison spreadsheet. What Garrison spreadsheet? <laughs> Garrisons aren't parts. Anyway, so that was uh, that's flight, and there's also hover. There's hover up here at the top of the chart. Uh, there's actually only two hover arrays. I wonder how they are different. Grab mag system. Yeah, this is times two plus more because they're hover. So this gets times two plus two, given what it is. But I wonder how different these are in that sense. These have a significant integrity boost by comparison, though. They also have higher coverage at the same time, though, so that only helps. The higher coverage means that the integrity boost is less meaningful. It still is overall an increase, but it does make them better. But, hmm. Yeah, I mean, the integrity overall helps more. All hover has more, but also the coverage... Coverage is also uh, a little higher as well. There's only two hover arrays as well. Uh, so there's not like there's, they're a big thing. But I mean, even if you just compare, oh, that's a prototype, it doesn't count. I was gonna say you can compare these two, but you can't compare prototypes and not prototypes, non-prototypes with the same depth. But yeah, I have enjoyed actually going back and looking at all the numbers again from all the other parts in this newer spreadsheet format with uh, 
uh, with uh, different highlighting, it's I've certainly noticed a few things, and obviously we made a lot of changes in other areas before. So hmm, maybe I'll spend more time looking at this one as well, and looking at uh, looking at the other props. Overall, though, we're definitely getting a lot closer to uh, really balanced. All right. So anyway, yeah, that's I just wanted to pull that up because I'd made one and I didn't get to talk about it with everyone. I was actually the day I was making this, I was thinking of starting up a stream to just talk about it for a bit. But because uh, I had a, a bit, um, there was a bit of time I might have been able to stream that day. Decided uh, decided not to and decided not, you know, not to make any changes at the time. But eh, it's good to have gone over today at the end of this stream. And it might result in some changes, especially down there for flight arrays. We'll see. Um, but it's also yeah, good to know how people are thinking about in terms of what well, I was also mainly curious to talk about why people were going just from early, earlyish ones to very late ones, you know, waiting until that long, but it makes sense. Yeah. Due to the nature of, uh, of the kinds of builds you're running in those times. So, but it's not really something that would mean we'd want to change anything else significantly throughout here. So anyway, yeah. So yeah, thanks for that. Uh, night bots. What? No. Nightbot already. <laughs> what? <laughs> mm hmm. Nightbot is like a bouncer at the club, roughing out the passerby on the street. <laughs> did did someone say botnet good? We need to get. We need to, anybody who says no. I mean botnet bad. Anyone who says botnet bad, Nightbot just kicks them. <laughs> <laughs> Ended biomech uh, desirability for you. Hmm. Get better. Get finding not a but a bad. No, we don't believe you, MTF. <laughs> Everyone, pull up the uh, the screenshotted quotes. <laughs> Bodnet even spelled it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even say botnet bad correctly. <laughs> uh huh. Botnet bad, botnet good. Runia averaging it out. All right. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's it for today. I'm going to get back to uh, cranking out stuff for the next release. Uh, next up is Core Analyzer, I believe. Um, after, uh, yeah, I, was, I took I, all of yesterday was sucked up by the trap extractor. It'll be worth it in the end, but. It, it, there was a lot to do in relation to that. So uh, I didn't get to work on Core Analyzer, which I was hoping to have finished yesterday as well. I haven't even started that one. But it'll take less time. That one's a little more clear. It's more complicated, actually, to implement all those changes. But it's 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 an, it's a bunch of knowns rather than working with a trap extractor, which had a bunch of unknowns. But anyway, yeah, bad analyzer to good analyzer time, I, I guess. Uh, we'll see if it's too good to become nerfed analyzer. But... <laughs> It's probably going to be okay. Based on Oimaga's charts, we think it's going to be okay, right? It's got some nice nice graphs, which which showed how it'll fare compared to other things based on the changes we're assuming that will, be, will happen. So we'll see. Backed up by math, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, math's good sometimes. All right. Um, okay, so yeah, thanks everyone for uh, showing up the stream. We did a little devving at the end there, and uh, we'll do some more sterilization before long, uh, definitely more next week. Um, yeah, hopefully, I don't know. I don't want the stream, this particular run to last absolutely forever, but I'll go with it for now still. <laughs> I'm really eager to, I'm not even on X9 yet, and I'm really eager to play the next build too. But, uh, oh well, it'll always be there waiting anyway. Although it's kind of annoying because I think my current testing, my current uh, testing branch on stream, on Steam is what I'm using to play. And I haven't upgraded. I haven't actually switched my game on Steam to another branch. So if I like, if I want to test another version on Steam, I can't as effectively do that without messing out my own account. Technically, I have a development account on Steam, but I'm using my personal account. Uh, it's in fact, I wonder where the password for that even is. I have two accounts on Steam, but I never really used the other one. <laughs> I used it to set up the uh, set up everything, and then I switched back to my personal account for uh, to do everything, including dev stuff. So. I mean, otherwise it's really annoying to have to sign out and out of Steam and back in again and all this stuff all on the same computer. 
So anyway, don't say password. I don't know. <laughs> so revelation gets exciting in research. Well, we're the, the, we won't even be in research till like two streams from now, I imagine. Not at this rate. We're still going to have to do another factory and then another. I mean, unless they intentionally like speed it up. It's doable, but yeah, more dangerous. I'd prefer to take it a little more slowly. So anyway, yeah. Thanks everyone for uh, showing up to the stream and I will be seeing you back in Discord.